Hello and welcome. Woo, we got a new VIP right on time, Mr. Beaver Simpson. Hello there, sir, and welcome. He redeemed it. He got it. The man of the hour over here. Let me actually see if we have more slots because this is getting very, very, very interesting. There we go. We got it. And it looks like uh, Twitch has, has decided that there are limited slots for VIPs. So I do not know how many slots I actually have left. We're going to need to see probably to, um, uh, at some point me uh, trying to increase the price because this is getting um, exclusive, exclusive. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, MS Doll, hello there, sir, and good evening. We do have uh, Dasha Samos. Uh, good evening, sir, and welcome. I did also notice Boons Nath picking up that first promotion with the fist fast fingers and managing to get uh, uh, to right first in the channel. Thank you so much, sir, and of course, welcome. I'm sorry I missed the time at the beginning. I did write it uh, correctly in the scheduling, but then I don't know what happened with the announcement, but it is what it is. I'm sorry, and uh, now we're live, and we're going to see these boys uh, going ahead, uh, head to head against each other and we'll ask, uh, good evening sir and welcome also i'm also you bienvenue bienvenue i did also notice we do have um a few questions about the teams over here i'm gonna go um, ahead and uh, talk about the teams uh, quickly uh, but uh, right after this elephant guy also good evening sir and welcome i hope uh, we will see some uh, nice french meta over here tonight eric coffin oh, hello there sir and good evening i saw you on youtube thank you so much sir Abu Kaga. hello hello sir and welcome i do have to say let me actually see uh, scroll down scroll down Pada ones Pada ones are easy win will i see say yes let's Let's go. I'm not familiar, by the way, Monsters with um, uh, those two teams and Samsung uh, White and Blue, did you say, or something like that? I think so. Um, but uh, what I can say is uh, about uh, the road that the teams are actually uh, following, so they could get into the CWC top teams. Uh, usually, we do have uh, multiple qualifiers, CPL Premier League, uh, the CPFR squadrons, um, and the other communities like CPCIS um, and LBCR um, creating their own um, uh, set qualifier a little bit later than we start the CPL Premier League and the uh, CFR squadrons because um, they don't have as many teams as the big communities like the international one or um, the French one. Uh, in both the CPL Premier League and CFR squadrons, they do uh, um, give the chance to the teams that do reach the top uh, top places according to the slots that are. Um, uh, given to them uh, to their communities by the CWC. Each season we do have uh, multiple slots available for the big, uh, for the bigger communities, and we do try to uh, spread them around um, as much as possible according to um, uh, I would say how big the community is, how, according to um, a lot of uh, other stuff that uh, we need to take into account. Uh, most of the slots do go to CPL Premier and um, well, I should say CPL and the CPFR squadrons. They are the biggest communities, and they do fill the most teams. Of course, we have started the wildcard tournament for like three seasons now which do, does give uh, chances to teams even in the t2s d3s um in uh, the uh, other divisions uh, to get in um, because there is quite a big of a uh, road uh, to actually take and if their skill is up there they need to fight against the um, it's no easy bread over there. They need to fight against the bigger teams to reach that level to reach uh, to gain the slot. Um now in um in uh, in our eggs over here, it looks like the players are starting to get the draft going and I'm actually going to put it up on the screen over here to see, uh, to give you what I see. This is what I see right now. Uh, we're uh, also you know, working with uh, the Team Draft GG app. I believe it's that's how it's called uh we do have uh, the players starting to get their bands on the table over here with the uh, rooftops that are going on the left side and on the right side we do have golden age um i do want to also take a little bit of a moment over here to put up on the screen give me a second because uh, i know it is quite important and i don't want to share any you know private messaging over there now uh, give me a second because uh, uh, there was an announcement in the squadrons um uh, channel uh, this is uh, the road they need to take over here to reach d2 uh, they do have a uh, few teams are uh, fighting for this uh, boomer apm with uh, computer del Lirel. 
I do not know what this is. I gotta say, I can't read that small. We do have Golden Age, and then, as you can see over here, Golden Age did manage to win in their boast of threes. So they're gonna go against the Rooftons de la Vega. The winner of this is gonna go ahead against the winner of Boomer APNs and Confitur de Lair. And then that is the slot that is gonna go into Division 2. It's very important for the teams to actually acquire those uh, top slots because, like I said, it does give them a chances to go ahead and uh, play in the CWCs if uh, they do manage to be the teams um, that are confronting them at that moment in time uh, coming back to what's going on in uh, the lobby uh, right here we do have uh, the teams uh, showing up okay let's see we do have basil the second on the left side uh, being banned then we do have elizabeth the first and uh, it does look like also Cynthia got taken down uh, we don't know the map yet if i am not mistaken we don't know the map and neither do the players or if i think so um <clears throat> On the right side, we do have uh, Indonesia with, uh, well, they, do they know the map? Do, do they know the map? Do we know the map? Uh, is the player random? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, and, uh, no, no, no. The players are always, uh, um, how to say, um, um, oh, is the map random? Map. I don't think it's the map is random, but I don't see it anywhere. Uh, oh, Primordial. Woo, we're going in for a treat. It's Primordial. Thank you, Ulas. Okay, it's Primordial. Where, the, where is this map being shown over here? There's like no map being shown anywhere. Isn't it easy to just put a... Whatever. It is what it is. Like, put a map name somewhere. I don't know. It, it, it's whatever. Uh, anyway, on the right side, we do have Indonesia with uh, Australia. Um, we do have also um, uh, Portugal taken down. And it looks like... Uh, Japan's other leader got taken down. I totally forgot his name. We rarely see him in the game because it's one of those leaders that really likes his internals, you know. <laughs> uh, I also put all my kids uh, over here uh, on the left side, and the uh, Woolens is telling uh, telling us that the Rooftons chose the map. Oh, I see. So they chose it beforehand. Ah, okay, okay. But we didn't. I mean, there was uh, no uh, explanation over there anyway. It is what it is. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You know, we got our answer. Let's go. Uh, would have been nice to actually have it on the screen here now Mirabel also bought some more too uh, is it not a game summary on the left there's no game summary on the left no I, I i know there's there's nothing here i don't know man i don't know it, it's weird anyway um, and we do have uh, the teams also choosing uh, civilizations that are more um, you know, prone towards uh, naval uh, bias because with naval biases because they will uh, have quite a bit of seas to go for and i'm pretty sure they will need to find navally they will uh, need to try to get those animals they will need to try to get those uh, caravel timings going on the primordial map though uh, even if you do that a lot of uh, there are some chances that you're actually going to spawn inland so um, you have to um, sometimes um, do both at the same time try to fight on land try to fight on naval and the teams will need to manage that as uh, much as possible and as you can see over here they did pick up Rome, which honestly it's kind of a flexible civilization. It does give you chances to go for the uh, carnival timing with the mercenaries because you do get that extra culture from the monuments and at the same time uh, do any kind of uh, land warfare over here. Uh, the map is probably shown in game summary if you move the slider up. There's a slider. What slider? You say what? Huh? Oh, 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 here, here. Oh, here you mean? It says primordial, yes. Oh, 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 okay, 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 yeah. But to be honest, a lot of the times this, uh, how to say, the players don't make the settings on this. Uh, they do it here. But yes, yes, I get it. I get it. We got it. And also, I saw the answer over there. Uh, thank you so much for uh, saying uh, Tokugawa. Much appreciated. Are the white drafting? Uh, yes, they're drafting on... Uh, oh, wait. This, this I didn't uh, actually show this. Yes, they're drafting on Sivdo.gg uh, something something uh, weird. No names over here. This is, I gotta say, Ulas, this is my main, cons uh, main uh, problem with this i don't see who's picking what you know like it, it gives me an idea if somebody's picking i need to see the names i need to see uh try to figure out the way who that's one uh, that one's gonna play this one and this one is gonna play that one and um uh, this uh, uh player really likes naval this player really likes land this player is more aggressive this player likes the culture victory and so on and so forth that actually gives me a lot of uh, subjects to talk about but mm, we don't have that here there's like no names uh, attached to these pictures um we do have uh Idelus maximus good evening sir let's go golden age uh, big fan over here let's go boss almost you rafifi bienvenue bienvenue i do have to say um 
Uh, we do have uh, the civilizations also, all, all of them banned over here. We do have the five bands on each side. It looks like uh, Age of Steam, Victoria got taken down on the right side. We do have also Nadersha. And it seems like uh, in the picks, uh, we will have on one side Phoenicia with Eleanor, England with uh, Rome and the Gorgo. Uh, Greece Gorgo being picked up. On the right side, we do have uh, Age of Empire, Victoria with uh, Spain. <laughs> we do have uh, Persia and then Montezuma. They're thinking. I don't know if they actually got it. They're thinking about it. I do want to also uh, quickly switch the screen and put this here so we get to see all of the players of uh, each team. We do have Ruftos de la Vega with Omega, Emilia Gorda, Mew Mew, Orvald, Overdose, Solitech, uh, Lucario, and Freezy on their side. While uh, it looks like in the game over here, we do have Overdose with uh, Lucario himself. Oh! it's himself we do have Omega and the Frizzle showing up from um, Ruptos de la Vega while on the other side on uh, Golden Age we will see Spilke, B11, uh, Bevet and Baptiste uh, coming up on uh, their side uh, talking about um, uh, Golden Age uh, we do have where is Golden Age? Golden Age is up I think no? where, where is uh, where is the big Golden Age? oh my god can I can I uh, no? Hello? Here, here. Spilke, Lorm, B11, Irelus Maximus, Fanky, Baptiste, and Bevet. Okay, so we got that uh, out of the way over here. So, um, uh, the next season of the CFR Squadrons is uh, set to uh, start uh, in September, and we're going to have uh, also the he Hidden Cup coming in uh, September with the finals of the CWC. Uh, we will also have the CCC next season in uh, the next big weekend over there in... Um, uh, September, if I'm not mistaken, it's around like 17, 18, 19 or something like that. Um, and it will be quite, quite a show over there with uh, 72 hours of games being played. The teams are gathering into clans. They mix their power together to try to get as many points as possible from multiple, um, multiple, uh, how to say, uh, um, game types, I would say, because uh, they're going to have actually to play in... Um, uh 2v2s in uh, 1v1s in, uh, four, in the duels in the 4v4s uh, and sometimes uh, we do have some fun games like 6v6s over there even though uh, we kind of try to stay away from uh, that amount of uh, players in the game especially if we have uh, casters alongside them uh, we will see also them playing some fun maps like uh, sometimes we do have uh, some uh, inland sea or coupe uh, or um, we're gonna see of course uh, free for alls that are gonna be played over there there's gonna be massive massive amount of um, uh, games being played at the same time according to how many clans we do get um, in, uh, subscribed uh, I should say entered into the tournament registered into the tournament uh, give me a second so I can uh, actually uh, switch uh, something else over here on uh, my discord so I can uh, actually hear something uh, ch -ch -ch this 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 okay there we go so we do have uh, them also with um, the ability to actually uh, use the remap tokens they do have one remap token for each team and uh ooh, i didn't actually uh, complete the prediction from yesterday somebody got a lot of points yesterday oh my god okay okay start prediction uh who will win uh, let's actually see what's uh, going on over here on the left side we do have uh, golden age uh, oh wait not who will how many remaps how many remaps zero one two to five minutes there we go there we go we got it we can expect the player named lucario not being lucario himself yeah damiumio jupa free win Gilad is saying that um uh, if uh, damiumio is not playing it's a free win for the opponents well we're gonna need to see uh, what the players are gonna do over here on the primordial map and how they will handle uh, all of the civilizations and their challenges uh, uh, put forth by their opponents and the land i gotta say a lot of the times even the land puts some challenges in front of the players over there um bbs 2027 uh loaded successfully whoa we're in 2027 oh my god bbs came from the future oh i don't know man is this is is this real life? Are we, did we actually get into 2027? Did I sleep too much? I know I slept too much today. I'm, you know, I tried to get my energy back because I didn't get enough sleep uh, in the previous days. But really, did I sleep until 2027? Oh my, oh my. Guys, confirm. Can we confirm? Are we actually uh, 2027 or are we uh, 2023? 
Tom Pet, hello there, sir. Uh, no technical, no technical for Rome over here. It looks like he is going to be on a line. Uh, we do have um, Omega with uh, his possible 2 2 base. He can uh, go for the Cat Tide in the south. If I remember correctly, we are not playing with uh, BCY, but I do want to double check over here. Is uh, BCY on or not? It's off. Okay, so no BCY for them, no extra uh, bonuses when it comes to the first settle over here. And uh, as you can see, Rome did go for the Cat Tide, so he gets his uh, 3 1 going underneath his capital. He's going to have uh, more food. He is going to grow a little bit faster in his population. He does have multiple cities to settle on this island, and of course, when he's gonna reach shipbuilding he's gonna try to expand the mighty empire of rome into the tiny islands alongside his coast over here he's gonna try to get the left he's gonna try to take taruga he's gonna try to uh, explore the lands over here and that um, the map gives him uh, also halong bay a very very bad wonder by the way i mean very bad land next to the wonder that's what i mean and we do have a builder first coming up from rome i do have to say on the primordial map there's a little bit of a change that you need to do in your uh, early build queues because well you don't really need scouts like you don't need to scout this one sliver tile that you're gonna have on the right side right it's fine it's fine you know it is what it is you're gonna see what when you get there but uh, getting the builder to actually improve some tiles and giving you some uh, extra protection some extra food maybe some bonuses over there um uh, it's actually more valuable now let's move forward and see who's over here we do have in the south england over here that is gonna be the one smashing heads over there with rome i do have to say they do have um, a few tiles uh, that they will use of choke points you can see this um, uh, shallow water over here is spanning from the north uh, from the north from rome uh, next to halong bay and then getting directly next to england uh, england is gonna have his three two bananas he does also have some dice tiles over there if he wants to get some uh, uh, faith generation going unfortunately the the dice tile doesn't have an extra food point but it's fine you know the bananas is gonna give him that and we do have him also with a possible second settle next to that dice tile to the north there's no shallow water connection this is uh deep water over here you don't really want to go in you know like it feels like uh you're gonna sink there um it is what it is man uh we do have uh three turns for a scout coming up from liverpool a bit of a different uh, opening over here for him now uh, it looks like um baptiste is gonna try to explore the south first and see what um uh, the tundra brings him or maybe some uh you know some tiki hats over there that he's gonna get to uh, pick oh there we go we got a tiki hat over there oh my god i mean i i'm yeah probably everybody's inside over there dying from uh, uh the cold uh, to the east side we do have uh, persia coming up uh, to the south of vilnius and uh, as you can see over here he does also have uh, connections towards england uh, this is going to be a decent amount of land for england to expand and get a lot more cities that rome will benefit from uh not to mention he might actually get to uh, send some traitors to Persia a little bit later in the game so they can get that goal going you know you gotta get that goal going um we do uh, have uh, pasagade with uh, dice tiles he's gonna get a uh, fast pantheon over here he does have uh, also his um, decent island with uh, chocolate hills to the southeast uh east side he, we're gonna have madrid over here which is gonna be spain oh my god this is a three versus one against rome oh the piper perry meme is actually coming into my mind right now oh my god yeah i don't know man yeah i don't know it doesn't seem like he's fair over here oh my god what you gonna do bro can somebody save oh my god we do have on the other side lucario himself coming to the rescue over here on his tiny peninsula he might actually join the fight and he's a people he's warriors he's the galleys his ships his technologies to help out the roman empire withstand the mighty power of spain persia and england i don't know man that seems like it's uh, it's gonna be a hard one hey what is this mount kailash over here oh my god what is this tiny wonder and why is it always with uh, uh fog next to it anyway uh spain over here is gonna have his uh, builder coming out the uh, next turn he did manage to pop a scout also he's probably gonna move it to the south since uh, he did send his uh, warrior to the north uh quite important for the players to actually figure out where they're actually gonna settle their first cities uh and as you can see over here if he does keep going to the south he is gonna figure out that coffee settle with two extra coffee tiles oh my god and a banana <laughs> oh yes i mean i i think everybody likes their coffee i don't know about you but i like my coffee oh 
man, oh man, 3 extra culture points and some extra food for the boys over here. Uh, Spilke is gonna have a field day. Now we do also need to see what's going on over here on Sparta. He is uh, gonna get his settler out in three. It looks like uh, his scout is starting to move to the north. And we do have him with um, quite a few, um, I would say, tiles that he could work. And an extra recon unit that he just popped from a Tiki Hut. I mean, those, you know, the, the, I feel like those Tiki Hutians, they said, we stood in the march for too long. It is time to join the Greek Empire. We will scout for you, sir. We will go ahead and do your bidding. Get us out of the marsh. It is... Oh, oh my God. Swamp. Swamp, man. Swamp time. It feels like it's it was quite a problem over here. But uh, Kilaid is already calling out the remap. Now, good map. Good map. Not remap. Lucania. Good spawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, build the same Basil Cathedral near Mount Kailash. What do you think? I mean, why not? Uh, why not, man? Why not? Tibetan, simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, okay. Mm, Tibet, autonomous region of uh, China, okay. Uh, Taido is, where is Taido? Where is Taido? Taido is over here. Taido, over those. Over those does also have, let's see, Frederick for Dome to the north, and he does why he's going to pump out a settler in two turns. Uh, he does have uh, his scout out, he does have his uh, warrior out, and uh, it does seem like, uh, well, going to the north it's going to be a little bit better. To be honest, these mountains uh, look nice, uh, but he won't have that many hills to work, or I should say, he won't have that many tiles to work. He can get the city over there on the 2 1, try to put the harbor and the coast on over here on the east end. Um at the same time, he's going to get the fresh water from uh, the river. Uh, he will want to expand on this east side where there is... Oh no, there is Aztec over there. Oh my god, his citizens are going to be in danger. We never know what Aztec does, man. He always uh, tries to convert his uh, opponents over there into his own builders. You know, make them get the hammers, put the hammers in their hands over there and the pick access to try to build stuff instead of actually warning. Oh, well, it is what it is. He has some Midlands as well. With a decent amount of fresh water and looks like he's gonna be to the north of Gorgo which is gonna be fine I mean this is fine we do have uh, Gorgo versus Aztec on the land this is actually pretty good you know they have met each other across the river over there it looks like um, uh, the eagle warriors of Aztec are standing around are coming next to the horses over there trying to see what's in front of them and they just saw the Greek scout past the river going to the east towards their city can they get fast through the marsh tiles and uh, reach the to reach that scout to make it a builder probably not i gotta say the marsh tiles are gonna stop them uh, map tbd yeah it's a tbd map man uh, give me a second over here so i can uh, switch it and uh, let's uh, get this going primordial uh, primordial yes there we go uh, got it thank you so much here beavers for telling me that uh, we do have uh, the remap uh, vote going on each team does have one remap uh, token uh, for this game and uh, we will need to see who's gonna use it or both are gonna use it or none are gonna use it you know they can decide that and uh, we will figure out if this is gonna be the map or not uh when the mode uh to peon why would you would demote uh, the beavers to peon i mean you know he worked hard for that vip man i you know much res respect Gathy anthony uh how are you doing sir tonight yeah also alex uh, 2005 good evening sir is this wetlands so many marshes oh my god yeah, oh my god i see so lots of uh, continents and coasts uh, and the naval seals must be good yeah uh, look at this look at this uh roster over here let's actually put up uh golden age actually can i put the full name i'm gonna try to put the full name over here golden age on the left side and we do have a uh, big roof tones de la vega on the right side the other ones of Freritos de la vega uh roof tones oh my god i can't write it down uh uh, roof tones dlv rdlv right roof tones de la vega okay it's way too big man way too big like their name is as big as them you know watch 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 
Uh, we need to play my Mortier board. Yes, plus plus. We do need more Primordial in our lives. Uh, okay, so let's actually see now that we do have uh, the team labels on the left side. We do have Bevet, B1-Wen, Spilke, and Baptiste coming up uh, tonight for Golden Age. On the right side, we do have Frizzle, Omega, Lucario himself. And uh, Overdose showing up for uh, Rooftons de la Vega. It looks like uh, the Aztec Eagle Warrior has ignored the Greek Scout. And it is going towards the Spartan main city. He's going to go through the copper tile and try to figure out uh, what is happening over there. I'm gonna try to drink a beer in Sparta because you know, you gotta try out that Greek beer, man. Okay, let's actually see if uh, Rome did figure out uh, he has to the South England. Probably not. I didn't see a word declaration being sent, so he doesn't see anything. No, I'm pretty sure he also doesn't see anything because in the water, the loyalty doesn't actually show up. It's kind of bad though. Like if you look at the, where is it? Uh, four? Yeah. You can see, you can't see loyalty in the water. How is this not possible but anyway uh it is what it is game man is the game we do have a god of the sea being picked up already by rome he's gonna get that extra production going from these coastal resources and you can see his builder is just taking a trip in the water over here to the east side he's going sailing boys he's gonna try to find new lands from the for the roman citizens but in the meantime he's gonna take a swim he's gonna sip some margaritas over there on the on the boat and he's gonna try to get some fish going you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. We do have another settler coming up from Rome in 5 and it looks like uh, his first settler is going to the northwest over here. Uh, he is going to try to settle as many cities as possible uh, to the north and he does have a city state to take out. That is Taruga in the north with uh, two possible attack um, angles over there against that city center. We will see that city fall. Uh, we do have uh, Rome also with uh, horses in the right side. He does have an iron tile on the west side. I'm pretty sure we will see a district over here. I'm not that convinced about the horses. Um, being revealed before a uh, district but i'm pretty sure he's not gonna go bronze working you know like, there's no really really reason to go bronze working in this location uh, we do have uh, to the south over here also a second city of england being put to the north uh, he already he did improve his horse signs to get a two three going uh, making his city work a few better tiles he did manage to get a builder but he's kind of you know considering if he wants to actually improve the fish or not spend that gold on the fish don't spend the gold on the fish you know it's quite a conundrum it's a problem over here you don't know what but this is thinking right now and Birmingham did get placed next to the dice tile, so he started acquiring that extra faith uh, generation. It looks like he's working two dice tiles, and he's uh, he put the God King card on. I gotta say, this seems a little bit overkill, uh, but yeah, he did. So it is what it is. So usually, the players do want to uh, use uh, the production card uh, at the beginning of the game, and if they do manage to get the dice tile next to them or the tobacco tile next to them, and so on and so forth, so they can actually uh, get faster tempo when it comes to building up other stuff. You would say one production is not that big but it is it is then i can't say i don't have that many words in me right now to actually explain you how much the players have fought for that extra point of production in the capital uh forum bcy oh my god man like pages and pages if we would have had an exam we would have actually had somebody wrote uh, write um, an essay about why that one point is very important i gotta say man i gotta say that was impressive and it is important don't get me wrong it is important but it is that important you know <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, spend the gold on the fish with the fishing boat Pantheon. He will be getting and it gets him the Eureka for Celestial Navigation. Uh, you mean the, yeah, yeah. I mean, he definitely wants to fish improve. If you're talking about the England, he definitely wants to fish improve. Uh, he's gonna go for God of War and Plunder. And you can see his uh, third settler is actually moving to the east side over here. Doesn't want to settle the marsh tiles. He thinks that's kind of icky. And I can't say I disagree because he has no 2 2 over there, not even a 1 3. And it does seem like uh, he's gonna want to the eastern coast to, to benefit from uh, uh, to the east side over here. Probably on the stone tile, he can settle another tip uh, city over here to the northeast of uh, Birmingham, uh, Birmingham, oh my god, it's gonna take me a while to actually pronounce that properly, uh, Pompidou, someone's you, why is Eleanor having 18 food? 
Eleanor having 18 food. Eleanor, Eleanor, Eleanor. Let's actually take a look over here. Oh, look at the fish. He has four to one fish, four to one fish. He has uh, the cattle tiles, two ones underneath the both of his cities. He's going to get some gold from the pigs. And we do have some deers over there running around to the west of Sheffield. And well, we do have London getting his monument out in uh, three turns. And I do see his... Um, moving his settler to the north. Looking back at England, we do have uh, the horses improved. He does have uh, iron in the south, in the southern. Probably not going to need it, but still it's iron over there. And we do have him also getting some boats out. This is really unusual, by the way, for England to get boats out so quickly. Uh, maybe it is something that he's afraid of uh, that might happen over here, but I gotta say, usually England does want to uh, wait for the Royal Navy Dockyards to just get free boats. You know, why not? If you're benefiting from free boats, you gotta get them, right? It is what it is, but he's uh, going to get a, a much faster, and it looks like instead of uh, getting another builder, he's uh, going for a galley. You do have uh, Persia already with his uh, trader on moving from the city of Tarsus, connecting it, uh, his empire to Pasakate, and we do have um, also a galley coming out from that city center, and a galley coming out from Tarsus. Uh, they might actually take over the city center over here, like Vilius. I mean, you know, it's not a bad city. You do have an uh, okay-ish harbor with some uh, a lot of fields over here, some iron over there sprinkled around. Shh just get those spices in and uh well Vilnius does have a builder i don't know if that builder is actually gonna build something or not uh, is he gonna chop a granary oh my god mr Vilnius ai what are you doing man chopping granaries is he actually gonna chop a granary i want to see this i know I i'm getting distracted right now but i want to see if he's actually chopping a granary what do you think guys what are the chances because they're not there's nothing to improve there what are the chances of vilnius actually uh, chopping down a granary Mm, Plains it is, uh, my bad, still uh, never had the so I, in vanilla, it was uh, only one time to give you the two two hills, yeah? They will chop it? Oh my god, man. No? Okay, guys, it took a lot, but Vilius understood the truth of chopping forest. He said to himself, that forest must survive. We will use it for our defenses. We need the wood over there. Yeah, well, I guess, uh, you know, it is what it is. The builder actually said no. The builder, he said no, man. Yeah, he's just watching. I mean, you know, playing in the forest over there with the warrior. Now, uh, let me actually take a look over here. What's uh, happening in the chat? Rome is already dead, Jay. <laughs> Got Anthony calling it out. I don't know, man. Oh, my God, over here is getting a granary of his own. Hello, Harbors Lighthouse? Why would... Uh, okay. Um, the prediction for the game wins and everybody uh, remaps a uh, vote. Uh, okay, choose uh, the vote zero. Okay, oh my god, nobody got points, guys. What, what happened over here? Zero votes in the zero option. Wow, well, that those points just went to the sink. I gotta say, you know, at least one. Where is that one guy that actually from the chat that actually wants to win big with like 10 points? <laughs> you know, how many times did we see this happening? Uh, there's somebody in the chat, always there's somebody in the chat actually doing that. Uh, okay, who will win Golden Age or Rooftons de la Vega? If I remember correctly, Rooftons de la Vega does mean something like the little ones of La Vega or something. Mm. Um, okay, so let's actually take a look at uh, Persia. He does have uh, horses to the south of Tarsus, so by the looks of it, he is uh, standing by to improve something over here. Is he actually going irrigation? No, he's not going celestial navigation. I gotta say, I got a, I got a little bit uh, of a kick in my uh, heart over there when I saw the dice style is uh, going to get improved. Uh, he does um, have galleys coming out and uh, starting to explore the lands uh, to the west side. He is, uh, well, he's going to find Rome soon. Uh, we do have uh, actually Rome sending a galley of his own to the south over here towards England. And we do have also Iron in the third ring of Pasacarde. He did pick up City Patron Goddess uh, coming up in Pasacarde and the uh, Tarsus and uh, well, the third city still keeps on moving to the southeast. He wants the big chocolate hills, giving himself uh, a, a big bonus when it comes to uh, food and production, not to mention a little tiny silence or uh, science over there for his citizens. Because why not? You know, you when you eat chocolate you invent stuff right don't you does that doesn't that happen to you too right doesn't that happen to you too 
You you eat chocolate and poof! Oh my god, it hits you, right? And the new invention, yes, yes, let's actually do it. That's how the mixer actually got uh, got invented. You know, somebody ate chocolate and then, whoa, I want to mix this. <laughs> Now, BBG made the base game wonders, uh, no uh, OP, and then added new useless wonders. The BBG didn't actually, uh, I mean, sure, it added new wonders, but it they didn't create them. Uh, they, and they were um, greeted by some somebody else. Even, wasn't that Sukitakt or something? Sukritakt? I'm sorry, I, I might mispronounce his name over here. But I, if I remember correctly, that's how, what it was. We do have a Spain with three series, uh, with his three cities. Pilke over here is gonna get his monuments out. I do see uh, he's getting his harbors out from Madrid and Valladolid. Uh, he did settle that uh, tile over here for the coffee, and I do see he's waiting for the second population to actually get that other coffee tile. He's probably gonna grow a lot faster when he does have an extra um, point of culture underneath his city center. And you can see he's not actually going for a monument. He wants the harbor as soon as possible. It does make sense because well, you're gonna get the culture anyway from these coffee tiles. Um, EG Builder over here coming up from between Cordoba and Madrid. He does have um, some whales improved for the extra amenity. He could easily improve also the uh, diamond tile over here next to his capital city. He just needs mining, man. Uh, like, haven't you actually started, you know, to learn how to pickaxe or something? And definitely want some diamonds, man. Make the city of uh, the females of the city of Madrid happy over there with some sparkling stuff. We do have uh, grids also coming through um, the mountain chokes and uh, trying to get to uh, the Spanish uh, capital to see exactly what's up over there. Uh, well, uh, Golgo over here is the opponent of Spain and uh, as you can see over here, Spain's scout is trying to hold him back with the dog over here, trying to bark at that uh, Greek scout, turn him away. It doesn't look like uh, Frizzle is going to be faced by that dog and he's just going to run around him and trying to get to that uh, trader. You know, you gotta get the princess, man. Now we do have uh, also religious settlements coming up over here from uh, Ponisha. Uh, he did go and uh, build a fourth uh, settler, which is usually not something that uh, Ponisha does, I gotta say. Uh, going for the fourth settler that quickly, but it's fine. He's gonna get his costs with uh, half cost, two turns in Tyre, two turns in Enoch, and uh, five turns in MPQI. Uh, we do have him also with um, a decent amount of tutus to work. I do have, uh, we do have also the lifestyle that allows him to actually couple it together with these one threes and i do see some uh, deer tiles uh, not amazing harbors he only has like plus uh, threes you know, and uh, he can get uh, some extra chances towards um a campus from that reef tile even though he does have very good mountains anyway it's a plus two here it's a plus two here but at least here he's gonna get a better cotton you know uh you know it is what it is what is this fred the four dorm what, what, what is this wonder over here well, it, uh it's a circle. Why is it called a dome? This is like a semicircle. Why is it called a dome? Does anybody know of the history of Red Four Dome and why is it called a dome when it's actually a semicircle of something? It looks like more like terraces than anything else. It's a meteor site. Well, it's kind of, you know, like a third of a meteor site. Well, did the meteor actually land on a... Oh, that's how actually bees got onto our lands, man. They're aliens. You can see they... Uh, th that's what happened over here. Okay, I see how it is, you know. Impact crater, bees come out from the meteor, and then, you know, all that's left is uh, Vrede for them. No, it is what it is. It's also a plus a seven holy site. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. It is. But have you have you ever seen a, a religious Phoenicia? That's what I want to ask, especially in the competitive games. I would love to see it, man. If somebody try it out, but I, I'm pretty sure the outcome of it, you know, it's still good to see, you know. Now, and you know, not to be mixed with uh, Shurikat. <laughs> Sukrit, wait, is that actually what it is? I mean, it's the BBG mode, so why didn't they uh, change the new wonders as well? They did change the new wonders, uh, Alex. They did change the new wonders. Uh, but then, yeah, bees are <laughs> Tartarius could I mean, I mean, you know, they, they, they developed from a crater. What would you think? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Bees come on. We do have uh, Gorgo coming up over here. Let's see. Lady of the Leeds and Marsh has picked up a Pantheon for him. He's going for a Temena. Wait a second. Is he? Oh my god. He's going to get a lot of Marsh tiles over here. Oh, look.
look at that the possible production and science in the city of Ephesus I mean to be honest uh, I wouldn't have seen this coming but I uh, a lot of the times when I do see so many Mars tiles I'm thinking of it you know I'm telling it to myself oh my god this would have been such a good Temenaki uh, settle over here but the players are just like thinking to themselves why would I spend that much time you know to actually see this coming it's a difference of opinion you know from our side uh, from the spectator side the viewer side it's always like oh look at the eels over there look at the tiles and the possibilities that you can get and the the, the, the players are like bro why would you want me to actually work march tiles you know it's march style and it takes me so long to get there instead of building in camel building horses and so on you actually want me to build an etemenangi for one city that must not be happening but yeah in this position it looks like we do have for lady of the reason marshes being picked up by frizzil he is doing it he's trying to get that science for his empire he's gonna have a lot of culture anyway from his um, acropolis so i gotta say this kind of you know mixes well you got everything going over there uh, trying to shake hands between the um, left and the right with uh, the culture and the science uh, it feels like the most satisfying wonder yeah yeah i know right the temenanki is big just like in temple of artemis you can't hit you, you can't go wrong with temple of artemis you know uh, but there was a meme i gotta say at the beginning of um, temenanki when it was um, just introduced in the game everybody was trying to go for it you know <laughs> it was like we've seen players even in like very bad situations going for a temenanki instead, instead of in camels and then dying pikachu face because uh, well yeah <laughs> they didn't uh, actually build an army yeah, this in Temenanki is the biggest, yes, uh, also, it, um, I mean, this, it's not just one city, there are marshes both east and west, yes, I agree, I agree, there are marshes here, uh, there are marshes here and here, and, uh, well, in the capital, he's not gonna have anything, I guess maybe he can actually choose to grow into these or buy them out, uh, to the east side, he does have Aztec to fight for those marsh tiles, can you imagine in reality, by the way, can you imagine in reality fighting for the marsh? Does anybody do that? Is, is that a thing? Actually, people wanting to fight for the marsh? I understand fighting for, I don't know, forest, mountains, uh, seas, something, you know, resources. But marshes? <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. Anyway, we do have uh, Mycenae of Sparta benefiting from one another in the first ring. He's gonna have also horses in the third ring to the west side. He can settle an easy city over here on the uh, stone tile. And from what I do see, he can actually put a city on the western coast. But I don't think that's a good idea, especially with uh, all of his opponents over here getting cities there. He's probably gonna try to stay tight on the land and... Um, focus his efforts to take down Aztec over here to the northeast. Uh, we do have to the north also religious settlements, uh, Phoenicia, for city, and gonna come out over there to the south of the city of Tyre. He did choose to go first for the north and the west, and not the south, and by Lucifer, oh my god, he spent a lot of gold over here on that banana. That's a very, very expensive banana. If you would ask me uh, in reality about this banana and somebody telling me you spend like so much gold to get it, I would have asked you back, is that banana made of gold? Is that gold for you? Because, oh my God, that's expensive. I gotta say, of course, uh, that will actually allow him to improve these tiles and work the one threes. It's very good to actually have the extra food over there. Talking about the game, you do get you know, more bonuses when it comes to that. And that's, uh, of course, he's going to start to improve some stuff over here. Not bad. It's not bad, but still expensive, especially at the beginning of the game when they might actually need something, especially look at this. Rome already starting to trade punches with his opponent. You we might actually see him need some galleys over here, uh, some support of... Uh, uh, gold for him uh, anyway now uh, moving uh, to the Ma montezuma land over here we do have god of the forge oh we know what's gonna happen over here guys we know what's gonna happen uh dito uh, decat if you love frogs enough yeah 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 no i mean you know who doesn't li uh, like uh, a quick uh, uh, when it comes to uh, uh, in the evening over there you you hear serenades of frogs you start you know you start screaming around in the night and then they all start talking at the same time <laughs> oh my god it's uh, just uh, sorry take also um, yeah god of the forge going commercials i mean yeah you know you gotta get the gold for the unit somehow right sorry take 
<laughs> Bomdia Bex, hello there, sir. Uh, also, uh, let me see, uh, Le Prof de Physique, hello, sir. Good evening, good evening. Uh, and there would be another huge city, but Aztec, yeah, Aztec over here, just throwing a wrench into Frizzle's uh, plans. Uh, that is a problem. Frizzle needs to, he cannot take this disrespect from Aztec, how he can play cities right on his land over there. Fight for the marshes. Yes. Freezy over here, definitely. I'm, I'm, I gotta say, I am imagining Freezy right now, just frowning at this and just pulling a city right in the face of Sochikaku. Just not caring, you know? Like, you do this to me, I take the land from you, you know? It happens, you know? He can't have that disrespect happening to him. I also have to say, Montezuma's land looks pretty good. He's gonna have a, a decent amount of jobs around his territory. He's going for minus internals. We do have uh, slingers coming up from his city, and we do have uh, quite a few of these uh, coffee tiles, and uh, some pigs uh, settling over there next to uh, Teotihuacan. He's gonna have a lot of amenities here, and one big continent, unfortunately, so four amenities, and then he's gonna get some maybe coastal i mean maybe whales <laughs> we're, we're gonna be good yeah he does have some whales in the water never actually got a city next to them and we do have him with one two three uh amenities ready to improve over here four uh, no three amenities sorry what's the fourth amenity does he not have a fourth amenity uh no he doesn't actually i don't even know what the fourth amenity is by the looks of it it's it's not here it's no oh, it is marker in the south he's gonna need to get there if he actually wants to benefit from it and of course uh, he's gonna fight for the mar oh my god man oh yes mercury yes who doesn't like some mercury in the evening um uh, fishing boats give one production with pbg for everyone yes that is correct if i just take a temenaki from greece all of those marshes go to the east and will be great Oh my god, the Menanki race over there between them. Now we do have um, also uh, horses coming up to the northwest of uh, Teotihuacan, Tenochtitlan, sorry, uh, in the capital city of uh, Aztec. He does have iron somewhere. Yeah, it is over here to the northeast where he's also going to benefit from a plus three campus if he actually doesn't go for, um, well, in camels. Bevet over here is going to go for horse parade in six turns while Fritz is going to be on seven turns. And we do need to see um, what units are they going to fight with. I'm pretty sure it's going to be early horses and maybe some hoplites coming up from Greece, but you do need bronze working for that. Uh, looking to the northeast, the last civilization to talk about over here before we're gonna get into the gold ranges, we do have Lucario himself uh, on the eastern part of the map, uh, right next to uh, Rome. He's gonna be he's gonna have the mission of his life uh, over here to get enough caravels and save rome from destruction and we do need to see if uh, lucario is gonna manage to do that we got some more builders coming out he did build up his royal navy dockyards i do see he's um, getting uh, some monuments for the extra culture and he did get the uh, seven science with 14 culture uh, right now going uh, he does have his well tile over here improved he does have his truffle tile improved so two extra amenities quite easy he got his government plaza right next to the harbor to make it bigger uh, plus four and I did hear some uh, some bugs over here. Oh no! Oh oh my God! That's a big one, bro. Oh my God! That's a big one. Give me a second, cause I, I need. Oh my God!
fuck with it is. Try to get in your van and over here. Woo! Bro, that was a... That's a once, bro. I didn't know once, actually. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Akelimono, hello there, sir. Bro, that it was like something like this big, man. Oh, I found it. I'm so sorry about this, but I, I gotta take care of this because otherwise I'm probably gonna get st stung. Not cool, man. Not cool. Not cool, bro. Uh, did you want to miss Golden? Let me actually put the screen over here. I'm gonna fix this. Uh, golden, Golden? No. Everybody got the Golden. Uh, we are, uh, yeah. Uh, we're 1071. It's fine. Oh. I'm sorry man I'm so sorry about this that 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 oh my god man oh. anyway coming back to this I'm so sorry uh, let's actually see what's going on over here we do have uh, God of the Sea okay for Rome he did get uh, his force setter moving to the east side got a lot of boats pushed out his opponent uh, we do have uh, to talk about actually Bevet first right Bevet with uh, Perbash was golden age he does have Montezuma and I do see he's gonna get some builders uh, in the fourth settler and I'd also notice he did finish his commercials and by the looks of it his uh, next door opponent over here Frizzil is gonna have uh, a Temenanki bonuses a lot of science a lot of science Frizzil already 16 science with 22 culture while Bevet is on um, 9 and 14 he needs to scramble his series is over there so he gets some more um uh, looks like a B1 with 11 science and 18 culture he does have uh, 32 gold a turn on um, Cyrus. We do have uh, Persia coming up over here with his uh, own galleys coming back from the fight at Rome's uh, territory. Uh, he didn't actually manage to do anything much there and now he's going to need to heal his bolts, uh, repair them and send them back in. He did build his government parts up to the south of Pasagarde. We do have um, him uh, getting some settlers out from Tarsus and uh, Pasagarde. So he gets uh, his other cities going uh, before his opponent is going to have an opportunity to get uh, bigger. Uh, Sparta did get settled next to Chocolate Hills. He's benefiting from some uh, extra culture points and I do see he's uh, gonna also get uh, some food and production there. Uh, looks like uh, we do have also Spilke with 11 science and 29 culture, 30 gold a turn on Philip II. We do have um, 44 production. Uh, oh my god, okay. Uh, let's actually see uh, Spain over here. Okay, very nice, very nice. 44 production. That's actually not the biggest production in the game. Over those, let's have 46. Uh, we do have um, Spilke. Bill K starting to get his um, fourth city going towards the northwest and I do see he built his government plaza in such a way that he's going to have uh, two big um, campuses over here using the mountains for extra adjacency. Did improve his uh, diamonds, he did improve his horses and I do see he has iron also next to his uh, city. Uh, borders. Now we do have uh, Goddess of Tides also chosen as a pattern. He's getting the extra culture point on each of these uh, coastal resources. And not to mention that, but he's also benefiting from the extra culture from um, uh, the coffee tile. I uh, do get food and production for each tile of the chocolate hills. Uh, each tile, yes, or just the one tile, uh, no matter how many of them you work. All of the tiles, all of the tiles. You have four tiles, all of the tiles to give you that uh, 331 uh, bonus. Now, Baptiste uh, did choose to go for a free inquiry gold range with 16 science and 16 culture. He has uh, still three cities going for his fourth and the fifth one. Uh, chose Moksha as his first governor over here in the city of Liverpool. Uh, Ga did manage to recruit Gaius Dulius uh, while he is making... Uh, let me actually take a look over here. Where is uh, Mr. Uh, England? 
Uh, Monsieur England, Anglais. Okay, we do have him on 6 3 terminal points at 10, while Phoenicia is on 5.7. We got Persia on 3. Uh, Eleanor England is on 3 points. Spain is on 3 points. And then Rome is only on 2 points. I definitely needs to make some uh, more of these harbors and try to get some uh, projects going so he can be competitive to recruit those uh, um, admirals that do give you bonuses towards um, Renaissance boats. We do have uh, Frizil with 19 science and 26 uh, culture. Uh, Pembrush and Voice Golden Age looks like a third. 36 uh, culture, uh, production over here for Gorgo. Uh, he did manage to get, oh my god, a forest fireman. I mean, he lost the population over here, probably, most surely, but he will get more production out of these tiles. He built his government plaza, the first two acropolises, and as you, uh, the first three acropolises, and he, as you can see, he's going to use Pingala in the city of Mycenae. He doesn't have a classical unit out, uh, nor do I see him uh, scrambling to get one. I do also notice he's uh, going to improve his amenities, and he does have a lot of science coming up from these uh, Temenaki tiles. This was worth it. I gotta say, this kind of feels uh, like a Temenaki was definitely worth it. He's going to have one two three four five uh, six points of science coming out from um uh, these styles at the moment while he will have uh, some more to acquire and use in his capital and in the other city to the west side that he's getting out from the city of Sparta. Uh, we do have on the other side over here actually uh, Xochicalco getting, uh, uh, getting a horse and uh, we might actually see him uh, trying to push a little bit Greece just to um, uh, say hello and uh, force Greece to make a defense. Uh, Greece is going to get his bronze working coming up in one turn and it looks like he just moved away for some reason. Kek. Uh, Omega with shipping coming up in three and drama and poetry coming up in one then he is uh, with four cities already and he did see taruga to the north it looks like uh, he's keeping those city states for himself for the moment not actually uh, taking it down a bit unfortunate though i'm pretty sure two of these uh, galleys or three galleys would make quick work of the taruga defenses and um, make it a fifth city for him it's actually quite important to have a lot of cities to produce from uh, when you're fighting a war against multiple opponents uh, so you do have a lot of pre-builds uh, you can uh, give the chances to your empire to receive gold from your allies and actually have something to improve uh, Rome uh, did uh, choose to go for audience chamber I kind of believe this is a bit of a mistake I think World of Throne in this particular situation would have been a little bit better because he is a hundred percent gonna need to fight a lot of opponents looking at his vision over here Omega doesn't know about um, how close or how far away his opponents are but he has already been attacked by the persian uh, galleys and he's uh, he has already met the english galleys in the south so he is aware that he has two opponents that are relatively close to him i think um, you know, more production and the less uh, gold spent on these units would be a bit better bonus than actually going for audience chamber audience chamber does also have his own advantages uh, having high population cities or higher population cities than normal you do get the amenities and you do get um uh, to build uh, at least one extra uh, district uh, versus your opponent um, you don't need granaries and so on but in this particular situation like i said i think uh, wall strong would have been a little bit better and we do have uh, lucario also with a free inquiry golden age on the west side here he does have uh, divine spark as a pantheon and i do see him going for theater squares as you know uh, eleanor england does benefit from more extra bonuses uh, that do um, increase with uh, the quality of uh, the great works that you're going to have in the uh, theater square like um, uh, you're gonna get more bonuses for great works of art great more bonuses for um, musics and so on uh, now we do have ancestral hall being chosen by him he does have a decent amount of violence to actually go and settle to the east side he's actually immediately putting a city to the east over here towards rome which might actually serve as a forward uh, operating station over here for him so he actually uh, gets to upgrade his boats much closer to his um, uh, battlefield to the battlefield or i sh should say how, how do you call it operating scene or somehow how do you call it operation center um uh, the battlefield on water because you know battlefield it's a field not actually a uh, water ocean whatever it is zone uh, anyway uh, we do have overdose also with a penbrush and voice golden age looks like uh, Dido is on four cities he got three of them on the east side uh, Dido is also the ally of Lucario himself and uh, we do have uh, him getting his um, uh, economy going with 34 um, science and 14 uh, for, uh, sorry 34 gold per turn with 14 science and 25 culture he does also have uh, traders coming up from Anuk to get those um, production points going with the magnets internals he's going to try to use all of them and I do see he did build a plus a three campus uh, next to the city of Anuk between the mountains and Verde Fordorm never actually got one tile from Verde Fordorm he's just ignoring that sorry I need to see the beast 
Do you want a picture with the beast? Do you want me to actually show you what uh, attacked me over here? Uh, I can put it in Discord. I don't want to show it on stream because maybe it's actually, you know, uh, maybe I get demonetized for how big of a beast it was. Uh, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, that one that is very bad without a preserve or something, right? Yeah, it's not good. Don't tell me, don't get me wrong. It's not a good wonder. You might want it for the era score. So like put a city over here somewhere uh, to actually get some uh, era score. But that's about it. You don't really want to have it as uh, tiles work. Uh, another uh, wave of settlers are, are going to come out from the Phoenician Empire. So he gets uh, bigger, faster, sooner. And uh, we're going to see how he's going to try to also involve himself in... Um, the team dynamics is it only for the gold is he actually gonna try to help us with boats is it actually gonna uh, he's uh, going for the late game something something we're gonna need to see uh, we do have the first sources coming up from aztec and uh, by the looks of it we do have uh, also greece over here defending himself with an archer next to the city of mycenae he did get a horse of his own with pingala establishing in mycenae he's gonna get uh, that plus two campus over here to the south and uh, he is uh, gonna get more science with um, pingala in that city center already 20 and 27 now it was only inca they could uh, put a giga preserve there yeah giga oh my god yeah 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 okay ancestral hall coming up also for uh, greece we do have him uh, with the uh, magnus internals over here it looks like he's gonna send the city to the east this is a bit surprising is he actually gonna send it here it looks like aztec did uh, trade some patches with that uh, greek warrior and i just got a deja vu Woo! the matrix just reset something uh, we do have uh, another wave of campuses coming up from ephesus and uh, we're going to need to see him uh, work this is he actually going to chop this tile or improve the wine tile one of the two i think this would have been much nicer to improve we do also have aztec trying to keep away uh, greece from sending a city to the west side which i think it would uh, it would have been a bit better choice than actually sending it over here on the east east side you get some um uh, you get some uh, position against aztec but you also uh there's an animal that disappeared. Whoa. The Twilight Zone. It disappeared. Guys, I'm gonna make a picture with the beast. Give me a second over here. Gonna make a picture for with the beast for you. Give me a second. I'm gonna put it in I'm I can't put it in pets, but I'm gonna put it on my Discord in a channel. Let me actually see what channel real life shenanigans maybe because you know that kind of feels like what happened. Yeah, okay, there we go. I put it over there. Uh yeah, the great disappearance of an animal of 1150 BC. Uh did they figure it out? Is he asking if uh, is the price uh, didn't oh so it didn't uh, update? Uh, if yeah, he's asking uh, his opponents if the price didn't update. Uh, Fenidorn has joined the round table. Uh, Fenidorn, thank, thank you so much. Uh, does anyone of you took it? Yeah, I I I, I probably take took it, man. Pompey. I did it. I did it, man. I did it. Oh, that's what he said, right? That, did any one of you took it? Okay. Did anyone take it? I don't know. Maybe it's one of those weird bugs, but I don't think they can do anything about it by the looks of it.
Kriganstrak has joined the round table. Oh, thank you so much, Kriganstrak. Much appreciated, and welcome to the round table, sir. I really hope Gorgo builds a preserves for the marshes. Yeah. Preserves from the marshes. I, I don't think he's gonna go preserve, man. Just because uh, he doesn't want to spend the um, extra uh, district, not for anything else. It would be interesting, but I don't think he wants that. I think he wants uh, encampments over here. He needs to finish his campuses for the science, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want more cities. It's a bit unfortunate that he's not going for a lot more cities, but uh, he's waiting for his ancestral hall to finish. And I think there's somebody calling a um, referee in to actually get some uh, talks done. We're waiting for a conclusion over here. Can I write something like great? Uh, the marshes with the preserves and the Demonaki will just be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, oh no, my God, I think that Admiral was seeing what was happening in his times and he was like, oh my God, what, fight for Rome? Bro, bro. <laughs> like, fighting so many people, I'm out of here. I don't know what you're going to do, man. <laughs> just, just not me, not me. <laughs> You'll have to wait to get the biosphere before that. Yeah, also... Bro no one builds a biosphere the game uh, always ends like 50 times before anyone can build that and at that point no one has time for it yeah exactly everybody's uh, busy defending themselves against nukes than actually building biospheres right <laughs> hey thank you so much for the prime sir thanks from the air i shall be knighted primer Bex underscore X. Thank you. I I do want to ask uh, you guys. By the way, let me actually uh, get a poll over here. So the the big question is: Do you like the new chips for events? It would be a nice feedback. Uh, the animal has been abducted by alien bees yes exactly they they yeah that's the secret weapon over here man it's anuk <laughs> overdose just abducting that uh animal from his ally <laughs> Wait, what's going on? They're asking Valeb. Uh, and the place amount of, of the one that is bad too. You need a neighborhood in a place near a river. So late to get it hard. I to remove the neighborhood needs. It's hard, man. It's hard. Biosphere. Well. Uh, did we have new pantheons here that we didn't get to talk about over here? Do we? Do we? Hey, Ravenous Flock, thank you so much for the Prime, sir. That I should be United Primer. Ravenous Flock. Woohoo, let's go. Wait, they're, they're doing uh, a post PP? What? Oh my god, man. Oh no. Uh. Oh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Okay. Well, harbor shipping projects already coming out in uh, English territory, and I guess we're gonna have a post. Uh, Charlie Martel, if you don't want to know anything, you should always ask Valeb. Okay. Okay. So, can you guys answer the question, by the way, in the current poll in the chat, please? Uh, do you like the new gifs for the events or now? Oh, we gotta reload it. Okay, we gotta reload it. Uh, nature calls. Yes, 
Uh, also, is this the new pose or the same pose as uh, before? This is the same pose. Um, name comes from Swain's ability. I OTP the champ there. Oh, one through P. What? Uh, oh, oh, oh. What is OTP? Is that a bank? Is that OTP? The, I'm pretty sure it's not OTP. The bank. Oh, a one-time password? Okay. Oh, one trick pony. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, so many so many things over there. The one trick pony. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Machiavelli, hello there, sir. Uh, new what? I think uh, he was asking about the new pause. Me, I should get into the lobby. Uh, focusing on one character uh, play style uh, win condition. Yes, yes, yes. I know what the uh, one trick pony is. I didn't know what one TP means. Uh oh. Uh, normal people. One trick pony. One time password. Gamers. One, one trick pony. Weaves. Uh, one through petting. Ah, yeah. Blaze Cat Games knows, man. Yeah, I mean, you gotta learn these acronyms, man, because, you know, you, it's, it's, uh, it means different stuff. OTP is a bank as well, you know? <laughs> it's hard to actually know what people are talking about sometimes, man. You, you need to learn everything. Oh, yeah, look, in Urban Dictionary, it says, uh, wait, it says on the phone, OTP, actually, in Urban Dictionary, it says it means it, I'm on the phone. Over, oh, look, oh, my God, Rafifi got another one. Over the top, man. Yeah. I mean, my, my mind starts exploding right now. Ooh, Moonsrat trying to get that uh, hype train going. Uh, thank you so much for the bits, man. 50 bits. Much appreciated, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay. We do have uh, a quick pause over here by the looks of it. A flop, yeah. Yeah. It was um, only a few more seconds, man. A few more seconds. Uh, over the pot. <laughs> Okay, we're loading in and we're gonna need to see how the players will evolve here. We do have a big war coming up soon uh, between uh, Rome and his uh, three opponents next to him. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets. A collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts. And we're going to, need to see if uh, Madrid is going to start to build up uh, his uh, normal fleet. If he's going to go, f or if uh, Perja is also going to build a big navy. He didn't actually take Vilnius, which I gotta say it's a bit sad. They didn't actually take the city states early on. Now, the bigger the city states you get, and the longer the game goes on, they might actually get uh, bigger defenses making it harder for you to actually do anything about it we do have uh, ostia being settled over here on the east side omega is going to get that fourth city to work for him we do have uh, him getting his harper shipping projects and it looks like this is the moment we might actually see what uh, is happening over here temi stockless is the next one up and they have passed quite a few of them up uh, we do have uh, probably rome with the last one and he needs to pick it up because guys Tullius did get picked up earlier artemisia did get picked up over here by spain and uh, they're going to start revealing those uh, renaissance um, bonuses giving ones uh and my guy is saying uh, same bug on deal with it okay uh oh wait what he can't pick it no wait they man temi stockless really doesn't want to fight I don't know. The, the, the Themistocles couldn't get uh, recruited here. You see, Rome still has 11 points. 
Spain has 16 and Themistocles disappeared. I'm pretty sure we watched this and it was Themistocles. He wants a day off. Yeah, I mean, he wants the whole game off. <laughs> you know, he's out. He's out. Not a part of the game anymore. It is what it is, man. He took a timeout. Oh, look at this English guy. He got into a corner over here in the deep water. Where is he going to go? In deeper water? Or is he going to try to uh, go through the galley? I guess not the galley. He's going to die. Well, we do have um, over here also some campuses coming up from Phoenicia. Uh, I'm actually a bit surprised after he did build his ancestral uh, hold. He didn't start uh, pumping out... Um, is uh, settlers or at least a, a little bit before usually the players when uh, this happens when they're trying to get ancestral hold they want to get as many cities out as possible and the benefit from the extra builders that they get there to actually settle more cities get more faster chops get to improve uh, faster territory and so on he still has uh, at least two cities that he can place to the north uh, the first one is not that great though a lot of martial styles then he's going to need to uh, buy out acquire the tiles a little bit further away on the eastern side as you can see over here he does have Aztec to uh, contend with and uh, he, this is going to be a problem but uh, actually forcing Aztec to uh, do to uh, uh, to fr prone attack uh, it is going to be um, uh, stretching his resources thin I gotta say Aztec didn't actually expand um, his territory over here he didn't want to get his markets up uh, before anything and i do see him uh, getting a few more horses he does have a port that are moving to the south here and uh, we do need to see what is he gonna do with it now uh, we do have uh, also to take a look uh, what's happening over here in uh, persia's territory with uh, multiple campuses coming around he's on, he's gonna get his fourth and the fifth city out i really like uh, mm, uh what's gonna happen over there If, uh, if only Pedro was here, yes. Well, okay, we're going, we're going. We started this, boys, we're coming back. Okay, got a water plunder for um, England. A bit surprising that he's still getting his harbor shipping projects. He should be making a lot of great amulet points, but I guess he doesn't want to um, slack behind. And we do have um, eight great amulet points at turn for England. We got Persia on four. We got uh, Phoenicia on 6.9 in England. Uh, Eleanor did manage to get uh, 50 points with a project over here. He's uh, still on three series, and I do see he's projecting so he can uh, have, uh, secure one of those animals for him. Uh, himself and his allies uh, he does have a fourth city moving to the west side and he's gonna be also uh, with uh, Phoenicia behind him on the west side a, bit, a big ability to actually trade with Rome uh, this uh, might actually become their economic train so as you can see his uh, traders are moving from Newcastle upon time towards the cities of Butoli and Omega is doing the same in the eel stamp we do have more gold for Omega with 58 gold per turn Lucario is 40 I gotta say on the other side Spilke is already on 80 gold a turn Baptiste is 73 and b on 34 with a Bevet on 30 three i'm pretty sure they are trying there we go they're sending those trade routes uh, between them and we do have uh, liverpool for example with the capital city of uh, persia uh hull to the capital city of persia and um I'm pretty sure they're going to have a lot of resources for uh, them to uh, use. So we do have also a fifth city coming up from England that is going to settle the Halong Bay uh, to the west side. Um, England at the moment doesn't actually benefit from a lot of uh, culture. He's only on 19 culture return with 20 science. And we're going to need to see if he's going to get to that cartography moment. He does have mathematics coming up in three turns while Omega is already on Bantras on five. Uh, and uh, we do have uh, Laka Talamigo on uh, shipbuilding in two. Uh, looks like B1 when he's also going for shipbuilding after he did get his uh, fourth city and the fifth city out and uh, we, we will see him uh, start to build up his um, uh, science and uh, he will try to get uh, some more boats out in the water um, i'm still surprised we don't actually see them uh, trying to go for more cities over here especially with uh, how close they are uh, okay i see uh, some curse words over here are being thrown in the chat oh my god I'm definitely mad about something uh, we do have uh, everybody passing this, passing this, and Rome is the one with uh, three great time points at 10. He does only have 15 points and he needed to pass uh, another time. He's getting uh, new lighthouses uh, from his most of his cities and the new harbor in Ostia. He's going to need to build, uh, oh my god, this is, I mean, I don't think he can afford to actually get all of these lighthouses and not uh, get the projects. He 
really needs projects. This is what he needs. He really needs projects. Uh, well, I guess uh, if they lock the animals for some time, he's going to have the time to actually uh, get those going. And we're going to need to see if, he, if that's actually going to happen. Uh, campus is coming around from uh, Birmingham and um, <laughs> Leeds. We do have also audience chamber coming up from Liverpool. Uh, I do want to take a look what's going on over here. He did get his seven population. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to try to put down a campus uh, somewhere. And this is the campus. This is the campus. A plus one campus to the north. He does have a commercial input to it. Try to get that extra golden. And um, when he's going to actually jump up in a um, free inquiry golden age. If he does manage to get the next golden age, he's going to get a lot of uh, science with it. He, oh, he is in a free inquiry golden age. Never mind. He's uh, 38 science with 23 culture. Trying to max out um, the adjacency that he has to commercials and harbors. Uh, using that adjacency to each other. And at the same time, as you can see, he's... Um He's managing to acquire those points versus Baptiste, which is only 26 at the moment. Even if he's going to have uh, an advantage over that, I, well, we will need to see if uh, that's actually going to give him a significant advantage timing against uh, England. I doubt it, but, it, you know, any any bonus helps, man. Any bonus helps. Because uh, building the preserve here right now would be zero value. If uh, he wants preserve for it, uh, for sure, well, you should wait until he get those wonders. But considering he's front line, now, I don't think, I doubt he's going to have time for for it. Yeah, front line, you can't really afford to build a lot of um, stuff like that, like wonders and uh, uh, preserves. Uh, we do have uh, Argos being settled over here to the east side. Unfortunately, that city doesn't actually have a lot of housing. We do have him, uh, we do have Frizzle putting it in a non freshwater placement on a hill uh, that does give him a 2 2 with uh, access to um, more marsh tiles and that will give him the extra food production and science. Uh, we do have him with a few pastures that uh, might actually give him the housing over here. You do get uh, 0 0.5 for the camps and the, uh, and the pastures. If I remember correctly, that's uh, also for camps. Let me actually see camp improvement uh you do get 0 0.5 housing yeah there we go so patches as well so you can get uh, more housing from uh, just improving he does have free builder charges that he's gonna get to use uh, i do have to uh, also uh, recognize that he's getting a wave of builders over here with uh, freezer benefiting from um uh, 30 culture he shouldn't be that far away from actually discovering uh, feudalism i don't think he did it yet though uh, we do have uh, aztec also putting down his entertainment complex from the city of teotihuacan he did get his fourth city texcoco to the southwest and i gotta say um he did place his government plaza in such a way that he's gonna have very good campuses when he's gonna actually build them uh, from uh, the capital city tenochtitlan and teotihuacan as well uh, we do have uh, him needing a lot more population going he's choosing to go for world of throne he knows he's in a hard position over here to go against his opponent uh, but he also by the build um, uh, he made uh, he's also expecting a lot of uh, needs uh, districts uh, so we're going to need to see if he's actually going to manage to uh, get enough food for his citizens uh, to and housing to grow that fast uh, he's also fighting pushing a little bit into uh, greece's territory as you can see uh, greece um, uh, does have a horse uh, very 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 low hp uh, he does have a few more units coming out a whole plate coming out for mycenae and another horse uh, plugged in the choke to the east of Sparta, no, Sparta. Uh, Frizzle also benefits from uh, two of these uh, builders that uh, will need to start improving stuff and he's still not aware about the Aztec on the, uh, scout on the west side. Uh, we do have, uh, let's see, God of the Sea, uh, the lighthouse coming up in three turns, two turns, one turn, okay, still not a, uh, oh my god, look at the boats over here, just, uh, they're, they're everywhere. Oh, oh my god, does only have two boats, his opponents this, with the purge, oh my god, the Persians are invading, the Persians are invading the Roman cities. We do have him with uh, two, four uh, boats over here. We do have England with one. We got uh, some scouts in the water from B11. And uh, it looks like um, at the moment we don't have a settler moving from uh, Tarsus. I would have actually seen a city over here on the main style, to be honest. So um, B Persia does get uh, the positioning on uh, his opponent uh, to upgrade those boats uh, much, much quicker. Uh, we can see also England. Oh, Locario himself arrived to the south of England over here with a few boats uh, trying to to, um, attack the city of York. Uh, Omega is coming in also uh, from the north, but he does have a problem. Those galleys in Halong Bay are extremely powerful. Halong Bay does actually give you bonus uh, points of uh, combat strength when defending in that tile. You can see the extra 15 strength um, on these uh, galleys. They are basically invincible right now. Um... No way he's gonna push through York. Uh, it's easy to defend. I mean, he can push through the south, though. Let's see. I mean, you know, anything can happen, man. It's anything can happen Fridays, you know. 
It is what it is. We're going to need to see what's going to happen. We do have uh, Dido finally started up on his expansion of um, uh, cities over here. He's getting his uh, one, two, three, four, five setters going. And uh, he's going to be massive over here in the next part of the game. He's uh, on 20 science with 37 culture. He does have 40 gold at 10 with 72 production. And sending those setters going east over here. Um, uh, do see he is actually going to open up the front towards uh, Aztec from the north, uh, making um no, Aztec think twice about uh, putting all of his army to the west side towards uh, Gorgo. I do have to say also we did see Aztec uh, picking up one of these merchants that was Cole was giving him the 30 gold um uh, for the tiles he can get the uh, three charges on it whenever he's uh, getting one of these uh, tiles in, uh, acquired uh, he does have coleos uh, to pick up next for the uh, free um, luxury resource and he's on five grid merchant points a turn uh, he's probably gonna have that first dips anyway he doesn't need a project but he just uh, needs to get there uh, fourth uh, commercial coming up from Texcoco he did already build up uh, his commercials uh, with the uh, markets uh, so uh, we do see the new trade routes are starting to uh, move towards the city of Tenochtitlan. Chitlan on Chitlan, uh, so he can get that um, generated the production and the food. Uh, we do have uh, another center coming up from Sparta. There is a Greek hoplite uh, starting to move to the west side here. Another one appeared in the city of Ephesus. He does need to build up a defense also for the uh, Argos series. Uh, and I do see an encampment is coming up uh, from that. Oh, did he actually? No, no, it's actually between the two uh, horses. It's fine. Now we do have uh, Greece actually getting with the builder some chops going. It looks like he chopped the stone tile to the northwest of that city center. And he's gonna chop uh, the encampment as well fully and uh, we do not have him standing by he wants to do a, a counter attack against us uh, Sochicalco trying to figure out if his marshes are okay he's going and trying to see what Aztec did to the marshes did he actually poop there or not now we do have uh, England uh, getting attacked by England. As you can see, Eleanor is to the south of uh, the city of York. And Baptiste um, will try to get a Royal Navy Dog Care for an extra boat there. He does have uh, Gaius Dulius as an admiral that can actually fleet up a boat. But I think he actually wants to wait for cartography to fleet a caravel. Would make much more sense. And we do have uh, boats coming up from Putoli and Rome. And by the looks of it at the moment, he didn't actually get those extra traders uh, working. But I gotta say, he could just buy them if necessary. Uh, they should have uh, more than enough gold between them and the return on investment uh, from uh, sending a trader towards uh, the cities of England would be very valuable here would be very big and we do have new cities coming up from uh, Eleanor Lucario himself he's outdoing his empire over here two four five uh, six cities soon and uh, we do have him with a wave of builders and uh, looking at his uh, technology side over here we do need to see Lucario getting his civil service coming up in two turns uh, while he's going for apprenticeship doesn't seem like he's gonna be the one that uh, is gonna try to go for the car cartography soon uh, omega is already four turns cartography while Baptiste is uh, quite uh, slow to get there with Patras coming up in three turns now uh, he has plugged in um pingala in the city of birmingham and i do see he actually finished a few of these uh, campuses i gotta say on uh, golden age we do have a lot more gold coming up from spilke he did max that out with 134 gold i wouldn't be surprised if we see there we go that uh, i wanted to say we would see a, uh, a buy of a library bam Two times bottles. Buy another library, bro. Oh my god, Lucas Spilke getting that gold going. He's just oh, oh, oh what, what is he doing with that gold? man? Buy him another library. Just gold buy libraries, man. You know? That's where the team name came from. Anyway, uh, we do have a line of uh, galleys moving towards the southwest over here, and it looks like uh, Rome might get to attack that city, while uh, England, I'm pretty sure, is going to counterattack if that happens. Uh, we do have... Uh, eh Lucario also not actually having any more pre-builds in his own territory getting those builders going he doesn't have the feudalism bonus on them I don't see the extra plus two charges and uh, we do have him with uh, sister hall as a government plaza building he's going to need to start improving the tiles uh, next to the city of London uh, so he can actually get some extra production going on over there because it's just not happening a pretty good campus spot over here a plus three between the government plaza the city of London and actually that's a plus four and the plus two uh, fish uh, uh, reef fish, reef, I mean, reef. <laughs> now, is Vicky free inquiry of paintbrush and voice? Is free inquiry also medicine? Hello there, sir. How the game does fire? It's uh, it's going, it's going. I mean, we got some uh, um, words uh, coming around over here. I'm pretty sure uh, Rome will need to fight a two versus one war with uh, Persia. I'm we're not that convinced that Lucario is actually gonna enter the war. We do see him going for 
or any other technology than actually going for uh, cartography and on the east side over here we do have uh, Gorgo uh, trying to fight uh, Aztec and at the same time we do have uh, Phoenicia starting to put cities right in the face of Aztec to the north uh, so we do need to see how uh, this is going to evolve over here of course with uh, Phoenicia being on the side of Frizzle uh, we uh, do have uh, Bevet on the other side with Montezuma needing to fix the situation uh, Tlachi is gonna also appear in the city of Teotihuacan I do see a Bevet that definitely needs more population over here and he still has uh, quite a few chops and uh, we do have uh, the encampment of uh, Greece finished and he's gonna start to acquire those uh, great general points Aztec has been working at the card for some time now and he's five turns away from actually recruiting one of these early generals for his classical and medieval units uh, Pantheon recap please okay so uh, Aztec is on the God of the Forge we do have a Lady of the Regent Marshes for Greece Gorgo we do have uh, religious settlements for uh, Phoenicia uh, looks like uh, there is also a war over here between uh, Spain and uh, the city of Z's uh, Phoenicia is uh, trying to chop some horses out so he can defend himself he doesn't actually have a classical unit out uh, we do have also Spain uh, with um, Goddess of Tides he did manage to get the first religion of the game with Jesuit education and pilgrimage uh, Okay, a new wave of uh, settlers coming around and he's gonna start moving inland with them. Now on uh, Persia we do have a uh, city patron goddess uh, and uh, we do have uh, God of the Sea coming up on Rome uh, while uh, England, uh, Victoria is on uh, Victoria Age of Empire. We do have him on God of War and Plunder. Uh, there has been quite a bit of talk over here about the annuals and you can see everybody's uh, passing uh, Han of the Navigator. They definitely want to acquire a lot more points uh, so they can actually uh, uh, get uh, one of those uh, renaissance giving bonus ones uh, harbor shipping projects coming up on uh, Putoli. we do have um a lot of galleys coming around from Rome he's gonna need to build two fleets and I'm pretty sure he needs two admirals uh, maybe he can make do with one but I think two would be uh, the best choice because he does need to uh, end up fighting in the east and in the south at the same time uh, not, not gonna be that easy for him to do so uh, we do have England started up on his uh, upgrades over here I do see Lucario is going for bronze and mysticism coming up in one uh, we do have uh uh, lighthouses for the extra gold but I gotta say I'm very worried Golden Age does have uh, a definite lead when it comes to the gold part and, and Omega even though he's making the most gold in the uh, in the game over here he's not really helped over here by uh, Ola Ketalamigo uh, Ola Ketalamigo is gonna get, start to get uh, gold when he's gonna finish all of these um, uh, Daidonian traders uh, which he's probably gonna send to stock upon Trent I'm thinking let's actually take a look over here no he's working internals that's the problem so the Cothons are gonna give him a lot of uh, gold uh, by themselves they won't get that much uh, from he won't get that much from the traders which uh, well that might actually uh, uh, be a problem later on in the game uh, Thandorius at what turn would you argue that early game ends uh, around turn 45 50 so this I think that's the so between zero and around turn 45 50 is the early game then you have the mid game between like turn 50 and uh, turn 75 ish maybe sometimes turn 80 and then uh, you do have uh, 80 plus that's late game yeah uh, i think uh, actually the mid game is quite squished over here uh, the players do go through the mid game very very quickly like through that courser timing through the um, uh, calf timing uh, getting to cuirassiers and then immediately jumping to tanks that's uh, usually when you do get uh, a lot of universities built uh, the uh, science starts to skyrocket to 200 plus and so on uh, conquistador push angle uh, oh my god that would be nice but I don't think he uh, his opponent over here is gonna get um, how to say a religion that would be amazing but anyway he can still push with the conquistadors don't get me wrong why not you know still a unit a good unit to use uh, spirit with 46 science and 60 culture does definitely have an advantage against the uh, Olake Tulsa 27 and 46 uh, but in the city count it is gonna be a uh, Dido that's gonna have the advantage here we do have him uh, making more production and the uh, food and I'm pretty sure with his uh, uh, all of his cities starting to grow and uh, starting to get some improvements going uh, Phoenicia is gonna be a beast in the next part of the game he's going 12 cities yes he's going 12 cities Momiko hello there sir yes we do look at that two four six eight nine and the ten and 
an 11 coming out from the city of Tyre. He just keeps... Oh, and a 12. 12 cities. Yes, 12 cities. He gonna be big, man. He's gonna be big, yeah. I would recommend maybe um, a recording a segment during your cast where you talk and take a step back at 10.45 and evaluate the team's early gameplay. Uh, I, for one, would find that uh, fabulous. Uh, okay, I mean, we can do. Uh, we can do. This is 10.47, so I guess uh, this is uh, early game. So what happened in the early game, right? Well, let's actually take a look. We did have um, uh, Rome trying to get his economy up. He is focused on his uh, scouting and he saw he needed to fight two nations uh, next to him uh, he did uh, try as much as possible to fend off his in the initial attacks and then needed to build the infrastructure necessary to get animals and to get gold uh, so he focused um, uh, quite a bit on uh, that not to mention with his free inquiry choice he did manage to get the science so he can be competitive um, to get uh, cartography now it does look like he keeps on building. he does have the caravel uh, timing but he doesn't uh, yet upgrade his boats they couldn't manage to get the animals for him in the south we did have a bit of a different approach over here for england because he did have a little bit uh, of a breathing room even if he had an opponent uh, to the north he had also Persia to help him out a different uh, quality of land but he did manage to make use of it with ancestral hall and uh, with audience chamber audience chamber sorry and uh free inquiry golden age he tried to use pingala gold by uh, library so he, from because his allies allowed him to actually get the gold and uh, it looks like um, uh, he didn't manage to build in enough boats as his opponent but now he's starting to catch up he's a little bit behind the rome but he's starting to catch up i would say and they're gonna be um, at the same level to be honest uh, we do have uh, also persia trying to get uh, his uh, production going we do have uh, persia also managing to get um Two four five two four six cities, uh, and uh, he's uh, making use of Chakra Hills to the east side. Did manage to also get the trade routes going with uh, Spain. Uh, they are on uh, different uh, con um, continents over here and pushed a little bit uh, Rome. Uh, we do we have a settler? No, we don't have a settler moving towards uh, the. So ideally, you want to have you want to have a settler on the maze, so you can actually upgrade the boats over here, have faster timings to go against uh, Rome if need be. Now we do have. Um, uh, him managing to get the stats going and he settled down quite nicely he got his initial science going his initial culture going and the gold generation that was much needed for the upgrading of the boats uh, on spain he focused as much and as fast as possible for his economy he did manage to get those trade routes going from the harbors from uh, upgrading everything and he did manage to also get 45 science with 60 culture uh, getting his uh, campus going and uh, getting a religion uh, we do have him um, preparing also for the next era for the next golden age that is going to come in eight times so he's going to need a lot of era score to actually get there but he's already on 43 out of 52 just needs nine more points to get there uh baptist on 48 uh, 51 uh he, well we did talk about baptist over here uh freezil freezil had uh, made a sacrifice to actually go for a temenanki and um he was pushed a little bit by um uh, aztec warriors he did manage to get the general for himself and now he's pushing back against his opponent trying to secure the marches because of uh, temenaki bonuses he's gonna get that extra science going and he does have a big advantage against montezuma in the total tab he did manage to acquire 250 more points of uh, science over his opponent bevet uh, getting to settle more cities getting to um, acquire more uh, real estate over here is going to give him a good advantage against his opponent against aztec while uh, aztec is going to need to scramble to get some bonuses on his side as well and uh, we do have omega 56 science with 31 culture uh, in a big trouble over here but he did manage to get his galleys going uh, into uh, caravels and you can see he does have an advantage no he's not oh my god look at the oh no Okay, okay. I mean, oligarchy, oligarchy, and probably oligarchy legacy coming from both England is upgrading over here, and uh, we will need to see also Persia getting to upgrade. Uh, Lucario 78 uh, 56. I gotta say, uh, we haven't seen that much uh, England uh, Eleanor in the game, but we can see it now, and we do have him uh, starting up with a uh, very good science, and uh, I do see a good amount of culture uh, getting his theater squares going. He is uh, also getting the goal for his teammates. He specially made a city, a connection city to Rome, so they can. 
start using that as, um, co uh, as a, an economic trade zone over here so they can actually acquire the gold necessary for those caravels which is very important at this time in the game they are not making as much as their opponents but they're making enough so they can upgrade these boats for omega this is securing them a uh, pathway towards the late game i gotta say you can't lose these fights if you lose these fights you probably lose the game uh, so you need to secure yourself time for your allies to get here this is uh, what they're doing they're buying themselves time uh, for the next part of the game uh, we do have Dido with a different approach in the game than the others. He saw that he's actually quite far away from everybody and decided to actually expand as soon as possible and get his empire very big. He's on 12 cities or he's going to be on 12 cities with the upcoming settlers uh, soon uh, that are going to make uh, cities over here. He's getting everything that he can in terms of amenities and um, at the moment he's working on internals so he can actually get the food and the production in all of his cities. He's uh, starting to put down a lot of crotons. He's uh, uh, gonna need uh, he's uh, getting his economy up and at the same time with uh, so many cities remember one population does give you extra culture and uh, extra um, uh, science from it uh, of course you do need a lot of population to make up for a campus or something but still um, uh, the, so, uh, the more cities you're gonna have the more production centers the more campuses the more costumes the more gold the more everything uh, you do have a drawback uh, in terms of amenities you do need to be careful uh, about uh, the people's happiness when you do have so many cities and sometimes you are forced to actually build a few like entertainment complexes and so on in the meantime we do need to see how things will evolve here we do uh, we are turning the page in turn 50 over here getting through half of the century and we do have uh, also six turns until the next era and looking at the era score we're gonna need to keep on uh, bouncing our heads over here on what's going on i do have to say uh, rome just doesn't have enough time to go for his um merchant republic bonuses for the press gangs card um and uh, looking at uh, what's going on over here he didn't get enough gold uh, from his team teammates uh, so he can upgrade everything he does have 31 uh, uh, culture and by the loose of it he's uh, scrambling to get uh, to mercenaries uh, the, the civic that he's going for is military training which is right on the way towards mercenaries he probably already got uh, feudalism or I hope he did and civil service was his priority so he gets an extra plus five to fight with against his opponent now his boats some of his boats did get a promotion so they're gonna be tough to handle uh, by the um, navies of England while England doesn't have have, uh, promoted uh, boats on the front line yet he does have a few of them here in new york you did see also uh, the whoa wait did he just kill all of the boats of uh, in eleanor there are no more boats of eleanor where did those guys disappear there were like three boats here where did they oh my god they got taken down baptiste baptiste he did it man uh, I do have to say um, Lucario over here will need to get boats in the water this is not this is not something that he needs to uh, he, he can uh, ignore this is something that he must do uh, don't you also get a lot of uh, war weariness when uh, having a lot of uh, cities uh, yes yes uh, well uh, you get the war weariness when you fight not when uh, and usually if i remember correctly but this is uh, something that i didn't actually get to uh, oh my god oh my god the counter attack baptiste is getting on the lines of oh my god, from the east side exactly where those pre-builds were forming in uh, ostia uh, oh it didn't oh my god didn't manage to click the buttons quickly enough to upgrade those both over there baptiste managed to get the counter punch that how do you call this how do you call the you know the swing over here on the right against his opponent he's coming in with a face shot over here and oh my guy is uh, scrambling to get everything done he did manage to get himerius uh, to the south of rome to give him that extra plus five we do not have yet uh the english um uh, admiral by the looks of it uh, the next one up is 300 in the admiral screen we do have dido picking one up uh, rome picking one up and two on Eleanor Lucario himself did manage to get Rajendra Cola and Liv Erikson leaving uh, the English people of Baptiste all alone on the seas oh my god I mean the right hook I guess right the uppercut is from the below uh, that's the right hook oh my god he did he threw the first punch man he threw the first punch man. oh my oh my okay we got the upcoming 
and pre-builds when it comes to quadrants uh, from Putoli and uh, Rome. I do see Ostia says that to build a few of them as well. Uh, there is a possibility for uh, Omega to actually attack into these boats on the west side. Uh, some of them are actually a bit uh, weird replaced, I gotta say. A lot of the times you do need to get some scouts in the water. You can see Omega is trying to use the scouts in the water uh, so he gets uh, some extra support bonus on all of these boats, making them extremely hard to push for England. England did manage to get his Caraval fleet, which does allow him to get the points in um, of uh, strength of attack against his opponent and bam we got another counter attack over here but these are going for the quick punch in the middle and uh, we do need to see if uh, his squad ribs are going to be fast enough built and he's going to be able to get square rigging very important for his allies to get him the nighter because he just doesn't have time to get there now we do have uh, to take a look at the era score screen while we see the punches being thrown over here by the players uh, let's actually take a look uh, in the take uh, in the era score 45 bevet needs six more points b when went very far away from getting a golden age and i do see he's building up a massive fleet this is gonna be deadly on the east side of uh, rome now <laughs> he's the op his opponent we do have a uh, spilke going getting his golden age he's actually starting to uh, attack uh, phonicia or and or defend against phonicia he's putting down more cities and uh, does manage to get uh, to touch borders with the phonician empire yeah, Baptiste uh, is uh, 10 points out for the Golden Age. It doesn't look like he's going to manage to get the Dark Age here. And it honestly, it doesn't look like he's going to get the Golden either. He's trying to make more harbor shipping projects so he can get there. And he's very close to recruiting Ferdinand Magellan uh, for the, another uh, one of these uh, generals, uh, admirals. I mean, uh, we do have uh, also Frizil with a 50 out of 51 points. They managed to get two, four, six cities. And I do see a seven cities going to the south over here. And uh, we do have uh, him uh, fighting off the um, uh, incursion and also at the same time uh, both of them did manage to recruit generals on their side uh, more units are coming out on the field and we do have Magnus uh, starting to establish in the city of Gnosos I gotta say this is a bit surprising maybe I, I, I'm thinking maybe like uh, Victor would have been more um, suited for this because he just doesn't have chops Magnus is good in a choppable city you know in a city with a lot of chops but anyway it, it, I guess he just clicked on the one uh, and you know established it we do have Omega with also a possibility to go for the Dark Age 41 out of 42 points he needs to be careful not to get one more point which is uh, quite hard over here we do have also Rome oh he's losing his trade routes the economic zone is in shambles Rome is starting to have problems we do not have Eleanor uh, getting any kind of defense over here but he does have a sea dog that can actually do some damage against the carnivals of his opponent England is pushing into the max and Rome is counter punching going for those caravels uh, starting to eat into the careful uh, numbers of uh, his opponent but then so is England uh, managing to get the punches in another trader is gone the economy is slowly going down we do have uh, in the era score screen also Lucario on one point away from getting his golden age and Dido is uh, three points out from getting his golden age whoa whoa um H1Z kind of, but Golden might break. Yeah. I mean... I gotta say, looking at what's going on over here, I do like two things. What Dido is doing and what Gorgo is doing. I'm not so convinced that Spain will manage to explode as big as Dido later on in the game. But I am convinced they will probably win the war against uh, Rome at some point. It, it does look like with another Persian navy getting ready. They just need the gold and they are starting to get the gold on Golden Age. Uh, while on the other side we don't have any navy coming up from uh, Eleanor. Which I think it is quite a problem in this uh, in this dynamic. I do not think Rome was prepared for a 2 versus 1 war. He's kind of losing his footing even just against Greece. Uh, just against, uh, sorry, not Greece, uh, just against uh, Eleanor, England. Uh, in oh my god, the England Age of uh, Empire. You can imagine the secondary fleet over here coming up, the second fleet coming up from uh, Persia, uh, which doesn't benefit from an animal, but it is just enough to actually push through the chokes to the north, able to attack Ostia from the north and Ravenna at the same time. Oh, Ulas, are you here, sir?
How much is uh, Ruftonet's economy? Uh, not that big. They're on 659, 109, and 87. I would, I actually, I would love to hear Ula's uh, opinion about this. I would love to hear um, what he would have done differently when it comes to this. Uh, Lucario needs a fleet ASAP. Yes, yes. If if Lucario is, uh, he's getting one. He's getting one. But this is a bit too late. So remember when I was saying you need to put these cities over here and use them as uh, as forward operating stations, uh, upgrading stations for the, um, the boats. He should have already had them. Like th this, this was a must. He should have already had like seven, eight uh, galleys ready to upgrade and uh, protect first of all the economic trade zone because th that's that's one thing that were the, the lifeline that Rome was uh, relying on, right? The economic trade zone over here. Um, Abutali probably dead. Yeah. Oh, well. It looks like this carnival is gonna get a promotion, but the English, uh, the English Navy, man, the English Navy is just pushing in everywhere. It looks like uh, they're finding a hard time to actually take down boats. We do have uh, another English uh, carnival taking down. Uh, England is uh, throwing another punch and taking down a Roman carnival and one for one trade over here. We do have uh, Rome with a few banged up uh, carnivals trying to get in. And it, it does seem like uh, with the help of the carnival fleet over here to the west of uh, Rome, um, England is starting to push through. Uh, Eleanor is getting his fleet up. He did manage to get Lee Ferrickson as a great, uh, great army. And he does have, well, let's see, stirrups coming up in one. I guess he's delaying getting his uh, caravels. You know, he's delaying getting the caravels. Yeah, that's it, man. Uh, don't you find it a little bit weird by the way as a mechanic that you can't build boats so basically like in real life thinking about this in real life basically when people humans the empire got the taste of caravels they didn't like galleys anymore you know they didn't like galleys anymore like why would you build galleys when you build caravels you know like come on I want to stay in uh, in luxury over there. Move on the in the safety of a caravel on the on the oceans. Ah, uh -uh, there we go. Caravels uh, took down another one of these English uh, English ones. Oh my guy is uh, shooting back. Uh, he is uh, gonna get pushed from the east side by Persia, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be happening over here. This warrior is gonna see everything. Is he in the water? What is this warrior doing in the water? Hello? Mr. Warrior? Oh my god. Well, I guess it is one of the... Oh, what is... Quadrim? Okay, well, it is what it is. Now, Vilnius has been defeated, finally. We do have a city-state taking over. Persia did manage to win the war over there and took down that city-state. We do have uh, one more turn until the next Golden Age and we're going to need to see what's going to happen. It looks like um, England did manage to cut off Rome from defending Ostia uh, while uh, Rome has been scrambling to uh, try to defend uh, Ravenna. He forgot about the choke point, couldn't get enough boats in the north upgraded so he can plug that choke and now the caravels of persia are being spotted by that warrior they're trying uh, to get in back on the back line of ostia that's gonna get hit by multiple boats finally rome did manage to get to the frigate technology but is it enough he only has one two quadrims and that's about it trying to get the walls up trying to buy enough time so eleanor england lucario himself He's going to join the fight over here on the front lines. Oh my God. We still didn't, uh, guys, guys, you still didn't tell me how to say this. What is the battle zone called on the, on the water? Is it like the theater of operations or something? Is that the theater of operation? Uh, medicine, it was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire with air conditioning. Their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. Yeah, I guess so, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know. They saw they saw the light with new technology and stuff and they didn't like any, anything else anymore. <laughs>
Yeah, Rome is in trouble, man. Rome is in trouble. So, okay, go, uh, no Golden Age for Montezuma. We do have Spilpe managing to get the Golden Age. Looks like Baptiste did manage to get his... Uh, no, didn't manage to get his Golden Age. Frizil secured it. Oh, my God. Didn't... Oh, didn't get the Dark Age. Didn't get Dark Age. He's in a normal age. No plus five for him. We do have a Lucario also with a Golden Age. And... Hola, que tal, amigo? On a Golden Age. <laughs> Ostia is going to get hit by four uh, uh, caravels this time. He doesn't have enough um, enough production to actually get the walls up in time. And Persia, with uh, the help of Eleanor, is going to take the first jewel of uh, in, of uh, Rome. Ostia going down. B when when is uh, getting in. We do have that careful over next to Ravenna that is also going to get hit by multiple uh, carvels soon. Uh, new carvels on the way with uh, quad dreams. Would have loved to actually see a forward operating station over here on the main style. Uh, we do have uh, England also managing to um, do some damage against Putoli. Did take down that uh, quad dream, it shut it down. And we will have a pause in, a one, in, uh, in one minute and a half. And we're going to talk about uh, what happens in the Golden Age soon or i should say in the next era soon it's just called naval warfare pretty boring name wait no i mean uh not naval warfare i'm meaning uh, the other one i'm actually asking about the other one how is the battlefield called you know like in uh i guess it's theater of operation i guess if i remember correctly you guys told me it's theater of operation when it's macafeli when you need man no macafeli where are you bro I need your help. Uh, if you want to see a worse, come watch uh, some of my novice games. The amount of times I died on C because I forgot to research mice or they probably by one turn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, Nemesis, good evening, sir, and welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? A battlefield works for land and sea. Akilimono is telling us. Okay. 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 I mean, that, that's good. That's good. That's good to know. Uh, let me see. Oh, there we go. Totally forgot about this. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're seven uh, seconds away from actually seeing that uh, Congress. Uh, we don't have a second caster over here. So I'm just going to vote uh, B on each option. Uh, we do have uh, some uh, new version. Okay. We're going to talk about two minutes, guys. And we're going to come back and see what's uh, happening. What has been happening? Two minutes, guys, and we're going to come back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, what is the CPFR qualifier? Uh, we do have... Um... 
teams are basically to, so basically before any kind of um, uh, assignation of uh, teams in different uh, divisions uh, for the civil war squadrons they sometimes do some qualifiers if uh, new teams uh, do have uh, more skill uh, or they do have uh, players that did come up from other teams in um, in the respective rosters so there is a chance especially if teams uh, for example leave slots in the d2 d3 uh, or even in division one uh, there are sometimes um, uh, slots that need to be filled and uh, instead of actually just uh, moving all of the teams from uh, down below they do uh, take a qualifier so um, uh, they give the teams with the higher skill the chance to actually perform in uh, division 2 or division 1 or division 3 respectively where, where they need to go um, let's take a look, quick peek over here what's happening we do have uh, city centers and uh, no buildings can be created so no more walls for Rome Rome doesn't have a safety settler out and it looks like uh, he might fall if England uh, Eleanor doesn't actually enter the fray over here and uh, we do have a cartography coming up next turn for lucario himself now we do have also uh, borders not growing via culture spilke in um, unfortunately got that okay it is it is what it is uh daido getting two diplo points now we do have uh, all of the boats over here appearing of, from Persia, uh, attacking the city of ostia taking care of that city with um his uh, caravels he is going to attack the city of Ravenna next with the help of uh, the English uh, fleet uh, going against that city center and we got forking knight Woo! thou shall be knighted primer forking underscore knight greetings Michael thank you so much sir and hello there hello there much appreciated for your prime sir now uh, can we see the war between aztec and gorgo yes let's actually see what's going on aztec is actually attacking back bevet is uh, attacking his opponent it looks like frizil is uh, losing this battle aztec did manage to get the man at arms uh, quite surprisingly greece did not castles coming out next turn for frizil we do have knights available for him but they're not in the four or series now he does manage to get the military engineer to create the pathways uh, for his um, uh, units to get uh, closer to his opponent and it does seem like at the moment his city is half HP it got hit by a flood and uh, hit by the Aztec swordsman I think actually the flood hit uh, Greece's units quite badly over here and uh, now the men at arms is attacking Nosos with uh, so much strength over there the swordsman doesn't have enough uh, movement to try to uh, do the final attack more multiple men at arms are getting into the fight here and uh, we do need to see if uh, Greece is going to manage to do this uh, attack back now uh, aztec at the moment is on uh, how much damage does he have plus four luxury attack bonus plus four luxury attack bonus we do have an attack also on the city of ugani to the north looks like aztec deployed a few um, horses and a few swordsmen towards that city center and forced Phoenicia to get a few horses of himself uh, to defend him um, of his own to defend himself we do have colosseum being built over here by Phoenicia. temple of artemis is being built in uh, the city of Enoch. we do have also spear case starting to uh, get men at arms uh, to attack into the Phoenician defenses and it looks like he's uh, gonna need to ramp up his production of military equipment now uh, we do have also on the west side the dwindling number of the boats in the cities of rome over here it looks like uh, england with the help of uh, persia is managing to take down these uh, roman units and we do have uh, two more cities that uh, might actually fall before any kind of boat from eleanor can get there a bit of a timing desynchronization over here between them unfortunately england just didn't have enough boats uh, or i should say lucario himself didn't have enough boats uh, to actually get into the fight at the correct moment in time to save Omega from demise. Uh, the, uh, Alex 2005 calling it out already. Well, I gotta say, uh, they are probably um, uh, thinking of all the uh, science over here. We do have uh, him with a lot of series and a lot of uh, potential, potential uh, in the late game. Uh, well, converting that potential into actual uh, bonuses, well, that's gonna be different into actual, uh, you know, significant wins. It's gonna be difficult. Uh, we do have uh, Spain next to him that will probably want to trade punches, and I do see uh, Spain managing to get his own 146 science with 58 culture he does also have 145 production but it's not even close to the 217 production of Ola Ketal Amigo and we do have uh, Persia also managing to um, uh, secure the warfare over there getting some uh, privateers of his own he's getting a holy site over here in the city of Sparta plus four and by the looks of it an intelligence uh, center so he can actually attack into his uh, opponent over there with 
uh, more damage. I gotta say he does need to actually uh, fight and find the cities of Eleanor to plug in that spy because I think uh, Rome is down anyway. Putoli got hit, double hit over there and it doesn't look like he's gonna keep his uh, borders. It got... Uh, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it got taken down, man. And these uh, Eleanorian units are not getting there. Oh, bonsoir, monsieur, man. bonsoir to la monde, bienvenue sur mon stream. Um, this is a game, we're watching a game, a qualifier game for Division 2 between the Padawans of Freritos de la Vega, Ruftons de la Vega, and Golden Age. And it looks like at the moment Omega is on the receiving end on the primordial map of uh, two of his opponent's fleets. And we did have in the south um, over here Baptiste with um, England, Age of Empire, go on the offense. Omega did try to hold on as long as possible uh, against uh, England, but then Persia came in from the right side and smacked that navy down that just weren't enough units for Rome to actually upgrade and uh, fight with big shout out to Malm by the way if you guys don't know Malm you should know Malm he is um, a well-known caster from the French community he is um, doing a lot of um, uh, games and the tutorials on his streams um he's uh, playing a lot of teamers and ffa is over there very competitive player i do have to say also he's a well-known streamer for the c6 community in the cwc and uh, others uh he also has subtitles in english <laughs> check that out um bro did i think, uh, just leave a unit above rome why are they going so hard on him oh my god i mean he's yeah yeah they took Taruga, man. Let's actually see Taruga, Taruga. And so they have Taruga and Mitla, Bevet and Biwenwen actually um, holding both of them. That's actually Golden Age over here managing to secure both of those uh, go uh, city states for their side. I do see two frigates are valiantly fighting to keep the borders of uh, Rome intact. And it does uh, seem like uh, there's an English carnival that needs to get out of there. It does have a promotion. And no, it was Omega with the quick moves that managed to take it down. We do have the Persian fleet uh, tearing apart this uh, Roman uh, navy. And it does look like at the moment there's no light at the end of the tunnel for Omega. Um, uh, probably trying to find any escape center makes sense to make uh, sure they they do full kill Rome. They are. It looks like they are. If they, if they do manage to full kill Rome, there will be somebody left without a military alliance, and we don't know yet who that is. But it actually might be Gorgo. Uh, Gorgo only has two um, uh, extra strength from his military post slots. He's uh, heavily pushed over here by uh, Aztec. Uh, didn't want to get uh, the extra cities out and didn't actually focus on the military that much. He did um, put his cities in floodable terrain. That actually is uh, quite dangerous because your armies can always be hit by those. Uh, floods and of course lose a lot of strength you can see Aztec is using that ability to go against Gnosos with his man at arms attacking into his opponent as soon as possible getting the science in behind and we do see Aztec did manage to get 45 science with 27 culture he is in a normal age while a Frizil is in a pen passion voice golden age with 51 59 will that matter that is the problem will that matter Frizil over here has the higher stats but he doesn't have the higher military and we do need to see if uh, Aztec is gonna manage to secure the borders of Gnosos and keep on moving towards the city of Argos I gotta say Frizil is in trouble he needs a lot more units to actually contest the uh, Aztec supremacy over here and uh, try to push back against his opponent get his city back he can call my he can hold my Sunny, but Argos will be hard to uh, my Sunny. Uh, yeah, he can hold. Uh, Argos is going to be a problem. And Pergamon as well. Like, these series are very problematic to hold. Uh, there's also a secondary attack happening over here towards uh, Uganit. We do have um, Aztec units uh, trying to get in. Uh, forcing over here a defense from... Um, from Phoenicia on the west side. You do see Spain is starting to get in there. And wait, are we going to see Crusade? No. No. Oh man, I do see Venetian Arsenal is coming from Madrid. I do have to point out uh, Spain can actually do the damage against both uh, Eleanor, England and uh, Phoenicia. A lot of their cities are connected over here and if um, uh, Ele 
Eleanor is gonna keep on fighting against England and Persia while Spain is just jumping and hit uh, Phoenicia from across the map we do have uh, only one single Roman caravel available here for him to defend. Another one is coming up from uh, his uh, capital city. And it looks like uh, England is going to be successfully defending the city of uh, Putoli. And the uh, Eleanorian uh, units cannot push through. We do have uh, plus three intel on those uh, caravels of uh, England. It looks like uh, he did manage to get uh, to secure printing a little bit faster than uh, Lucario himself. <laughs> and it looks like on Ravenna there's another caravel popping out but it, uh, it might be too late this caravel is gonna keep on attacking uh, head first into that city of Lavena. we do have the first attackers uh, on the city of rome and where there is governor victor being deployed over there it looks like uh, the city of uh, persia is also gonna get the uh, honor of upgrading some of these quadrants into frigates uh, there are some sea dogs with the english fleet on the west side and i do see a secondary fleet is being built over here with multiple uh, sea dogs coming out of his main cities of eleanor and uh, a new careful base Knossos wait did he leave Knossos alone what, uh, what happened here I am very confused is he gonna take it last move or something is, is that what's happening weren't there more you what are there like four units here what happened to them Did I? Are my eyes deceiving me? And what is this general doing? Uh, the Bannon City Walls was a uh, clutch, yeah? Yeah, the Bannon City Walls actually allowed them to attack into Rome. And there we go. We got Aztec taking down that city. We do have only a few swordsmen available, and it looks like uh, he did take down Colossus. No, no chance. No chance. He did also manage to take down one of the knights uh, defending Mycenae and it looks like uh, Bevet is putting uh, units in the water so he can uh, cross the lake to the north of Mycenae trying to hit these units from uh, down south. It looks like uh, there is a counter-attack happening over here and Frizzle did manage to take down that uh, man at arms uh, deploying um, the general to the north so he can uh, defend his borders. There were no fast moves over here coming up from Bevet to attack into the swordsman and uh, take them down before he got, back, got them back into his uh, own borders to upgrade. Uh, Persia finishing up his intelligence agency in three turns. Uh, we do have uh, Spilke getting his Venetian arsenal over here. Oh, actually, wait. This is, yeah, Spilke getting his Venetian arsenal in three turns from the city of Madrid. I think uh, Tyre wanted to do the same thing. He did build an industrial zone over here next to him, but he didn't actually finish the job with the uh, Venetian arsenal. He did finish uh, his um, Colosseum and did manage to get his happiness level to a plus three in multiple cities, in some actually with plus six. We do have uh, shipyards uh, coming from Spain while at the moment we don't have shipyards over here from Phoenicia it's gonna take a while until he actually gets to build them he started one in Biruta so plus six over there not bad uh, in six turns I mean not plus six uh, we do have uh, Phoenicia also sending uh, multiple uh, multiple cities to the eastern side it doesn't look like he's scared at all about Aztec here uh, still two cities alive over here from uh, Rome he's uh, probably gonna lose Ravenna next and woo Baptiste got an ironclad Baptiste got the ironclad in front of all of that in Eleanorian Navy he's not oh my god he's not gonna die man actually he's gonna beat off this Eleanorian Navy it's just the, the desynchronization in timings actually won this war if Eleanor actually had a fleet ready to go to smash against the english fleet at the beginning uh, with uh, the roman fleet they would have had a chance because at the beginning england did not have an admiral and uh, he needed to get a lot of um, a lot of projects going so he actually can't get the chance to have an admiral they had an extra plus five on him Uh, Admiral Isun Sin jumped into the fray. Yeah, he jumped, man. He jumped. This is this is unbelievable, man. Oh man, what is happening? Okay, Ravenna gonna get hit. Gonna be taken down. It looks like Aztec is gonna take it down. This is uh, securing Aztec, a safety settle. 
Oh man, and then Rome is gonna be up next. We do have the frigate starting to get into range so they can attack it from uh, far and not take that much damage. We do have uh, English Navy being deployed against uh, Eleanor here to the west side where there aren't that many boats available. I do have to say in the eel stab over here, it does seem like uh, Ola Ketalamido did actually manage to get his uh, you know, gold generation going with 206 gold and 271 production steaming ahead of his opponents. We do have uh, Lucario with 95 for production. 134 gold a turn and Omega is down to 16 Freezy also on minus 6 now we do need to see if uh, the crossbows uh, upcoming here from Greece getting trained into multiple cities are going to be the answer against uh, Aztec and we do have Aztec pushing quite hard against his opponent here but he is uh, going to get pressured soon and uh, we do have uh, multiple uh, a library is coming out in the cities of uh, Montezuma in his campuses, so he starts to get more science than his opponent. Uh, his culture is going to be um, not as uh, big as uh, Greece, and I'm pretty sure Greece will get to nationalism much, much faster. Uh, we do need to see also what's going to happen uh, with the units here, because Greece just keeps on improving his land, uh, trying to get uh, the points in. They're not that far apart from... Uh, in the production, in production wise, and uh, well, neither of them actually has an economy. Where is Dido? Yeah, very far. Dido is not in the naval fight. And he's he's going to be so surprised when this Venetian arsenal is going to be taken away from him. Uh, looking at the tech side here, we do have uh, Dido going for the bottom tree on machinery. He's going to want his own printing and um, uh, military engineering. Uh, looks like uh, we do have Spillik going for stirrups. Humanism coming up in five. And uh, also, of course, he has a possibility to go against Phoenicia over here with... Um, with a uh, with a uh, conquistadors conquistadors for a second there i was going through the words with a c in them Kek. oh man these boats man these these boats these, they're getting in Ro got taken down four versus three situation rooftons de la vega are in a pickle right now. We do have Persia getting quite big. B1 went 30 in 63 science with 61 culture, 127 uh, gold. He went into a dark age. He does have an extra plus five, and it doesn't look like uh, Age of Empire. He's gonna stop with uh, that win on Rome. He's gonna keep on going, trying to secure the win against the upcoming units over here on the cities of Newcastle upon Tyne and Plymouth, where uh, caravels are getting upgraded from uh, the cities of uh, Lucario himself. And we do also see a uh, Persia will need to actually position his fleet of forward. He does have a massive pre-built fleet of uh, frigates. The same we can say about uh, England. We do have a Baptist getting a one, two, three, four. Um, four of these, five and the six of these um, frigates, not to mention upcoming sea dogs from his units. So he has uh, the ability to go against his opponent over there. Did the, the wait, did, did the, yeah, I think uh, the host just jumped to me. Ah, two brood. Huh? A two brood. Oh well. Wow. 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 Wait, this was actually the map that the Rooftons de la Vega wanted to play, right? Oh man, that feels bad, man. That feels really bad, man. The English ironclad can actually one-shot that caravel to the north, by the way. And by the looks of it, he can do quite a bit of damage against the other boats without that much pain on the on the return. Oh! Bam! England got to secure a caravel. I should say Eleanor got to secure a caravel. Okay, shipyards coming out from multiple cities of Phoenicia. He's still getting his um, uh, 
his um, production up while well, we do have Spirico on 185 he did manage to secure Benicia Nelson in his capital city uh, got to chop it down over there on Madrid while uh, the city of Tyre is gonna re place uh, that with uh, Colossus uh, I do see he's gonna get a lot of trade routes working he will need to connect his economy up with uh, England over here and we do need to see who actually lost the uh, military alliance it was Phoenicia that lost the military alliance with uh, giving a bit of um, room over here for Spain to actually push into him uh, all I can tell uh, Amigo does have for uh, the same science of Spilke or almost the same science as Spilke with a decent amount of uh, culture we do have them with a bit of a difference when it comes to the economy uh, and i do have to say the production is definitely with the uh, dido uh, not all uh, set on the western side and of course he doesn't actually have uh, a lot of uh, technology here we don't need to see if um uh, all like is going to manage to defend and or push back against uh, spain and what's going to happen over here with the war of uh, lucario versus his two opponents uh, we do have um Victoria managing to secure the north of Puteoli. Uh, we do have uh, the Persian fleet also on the way towards the front line over here towards uh, Newcastle upon Tyne. And uh, of course, a lot of frigates are going to need to be upgraded. With the amount of frigates over here, I'm actually very worried that the English fleet uh, is going to survive, or I should say, the Eleanor fleet will survive. Um, we do have uh, Baptiste also with uh, quite a few promoted caravels since they have been some fighting for quite some time and acquiring the promotions. Uh, we do have. Uh, um, some sea dogs coming up from uh, Lucario so he can shoot from afar. He is trying to pre-build some frigates over here and looks like in the um, army tab we do have a decent amount of uh, nitre on their side but I don't see that much nitre on uh, Golden Age. I guess, I guess they will get some but let me see. They, they have 14 on uh, Montezuma with uh, 4 on Spilke and no Niter on Persia, no Niter on uh, England. Maybe they want to pre-build a little bit more or they don't have the technology at all. I, one of the two. A Niter here. Niter, Niter, Niter. I don't see Niter. Unless it's underneath a district, I don't see Niter. Anyway, uh, some more attacks coming in. We do have uh, the first Persian frigates uh, soon able to attack against uh, Eleanor. Uh, we do have uh, the caravels uh, uh, next to the ironclads uh, hitting these English boats and taking them down one by one. Uh, while in the south, uh, Persia is uh, getting to position his frigates right behind the uh, Baptist caravels. He's going to start pushing in a line, coordinating his efforts against uh, England. And as you can see over here, it doesn't look like the production of uh, Eleanor is going to be up to the challenge. Only 92 production points Baptiste is 91 but then B1 when behind him is 142 uh, Spilke benefiting from 204 points of uh, production and that uh, bonus point uh, of production that you get from, from Venetian Arsenal into building up a navy you can imagine he's gonna get armadas to go against his opponent that is gonna be a problem we do have a conquistador but only one conquistador hello why one is that just uh, one conquistador? Oh, just one? Ah, oh, come on. Where is where is the massive upgrade for conquistadors? If he would have had like ten of them, he would have taken this easy. Uh, Lost on planet has joined the round table. Lost on planet. Thank you so much for the follow, sir. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, look, Spanish horses. Where? Oh, these ones. Oh, they're getting in. Spilk is getting in in the city of Oya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We do have uh, Spain uh, getting into the borders of uh, Florencia, which will allow him to actually pillage quite a few tiles over here, pillage his uh, campus, and uh, even try to go against uh, some city centers. So Florencia is just not ready for this. He has been trying to sim. He has been trying to get advantage against uh, Spain, and uh, we've seen this multiple times. So, uh, of course, uh, if... Uh, uh, if your opponent can get an attack against you, he will get an attack against you. Uh, in the um, Great People screen, we did have Hypatia being picked up by Spain. And it doesn't look like he's also going to have the ability to pick up Isaac Newton if he's going to get at least um, three more turns or a project. He's getting a project. No, that's in Camo Training Project. That's a Campus Research Project. That's Campus Research. Campus Research Project coming up in Madrid. He's going to get that going. And uh, going to have a free library and a university with his libraries providing him more science. Uh, he's uh, also going to need to do some fast moves over here, getting in. And we do have uh, Spain in trouble, uh, doing a, a lot of trouble into the Phoenician territory. 
uh, trying to uh, disrupt the defenses of uh, Phoenicia. I would have still loved to see a few more conquistadors over here. I'm pretty sure he could have done that. Uh, let's actually take a look on the west side here. We do have the first attacks. Persia is moving in with his boats and his frigates. And we do have uh, the major attack. And that ironclad stays alive. Baptiste cannot take on the English ironclad. <laughs> oh my. Uh, cannot be taken down. I mean, uh, in, um, Lucario cannot take that. That English ironclad. Unbelievable, man. Lucario lost all of his fleet against that one ironclad. Oh, man. And more frigates are getting upgraded in the cities of uh, Rome. All of the pre-builds of B11 did move onto the front lines over here towards the west, uh, western front. And we do have uh, English uh, Baptist uh, frigates uh, getting in through the south of Newcastle upon Tyne. Starting to wrap around like octopuses around the city of Newcastle upon Tyne and Plymouth. Taking down the majority of the fleet of uh, Lucario in the base over there in the north. And they're moving on towards the other fleet. There's just not enough production. Not enough production. And I gotta say, this is one of those moments when Phoenicia needs to think about his own health over here. He's getting attacked on land, but he's gonna need to build up a fleet. He's gonna he's getting attacked also by Aztec. He's getting uh, Aztec. Oh my god, Aztec is gonna take down Argos. He's moving in. He's moving in towards Argos. Akelimono, yeah, well, pox uh, were more important than text. Wait, po pox, pox, p o x. What was that? You don't need a lot if you need. Uh, if you kill, uh, you mean pops? As in population? Um, as they kind of did that in this game with the flood killing Gorgo's units. Yes, easy points. Uh, Recrutra, good evening, sir. Uh, Gorgo behind Aztec, uh, Rome dead, died all losing against Spain. I guess it's oh, oh, it's over. It might be smallpox. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, I see the pox. The pox. Oh, that pox. Okay. Uh, RDLV are losing all across the map, and this wasn't the map. Uh, RNG different. They just misplayed a lot. <laughs> uh they i'm not i'm not sure of a lot but they could have done a little bit better i still like what uh, dido did so i gotta say like you know positive let's look at the positive i like what dido did um i don't like that greece put a city here because this was uh, kind of you know this was where aztec was quite strong and um, it kind of dangled the meat in front of Aztec. Uh, I do think Eleanor should have had a fleet. That's that's I think yes where he misplayed but uh, they had a problem with the gold. Uh, so yeah I'm not sure if that would have been uh, uh, possible. I'm not sure if that's a misplay or if that's just uh, something that he couldn't have done. Um, it is what it is. But on the other side, beautiful place coming up from Baptiste and Persia. They coordinated very well. They had uh, good connections when it comes to um, securing their economy over there. And uh, also Spilke managed to get so much gold for their side. Uh, did we have a Newton recruited? I think so, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, I think Cafeni, that is uh, cold being a worse... Uh, I mean... It's not called being. Uh... It don't, man, this is just one map. This is primordial. We're gonna have a best of three being played over here tomorrow. Another game, game two of the series. We're gonna need to see who is the better team. It might be a game three, son. No, not everything uh, they did was uh, wrong. I like that going one and uh, the Menaki play, but the Renault didn't go to war. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, calling some better the game won't get you demonetized. You know, I'm not. Uh, no, no, I'm not worried about uh, getting demonetized, but I do want to uh, focus on positives rather than negatives. Uh, we do have uh, Aztec over here managing to uh, secure the front line towards the south and it looks like Argos is not getting defended. Uh, Frizil uh, just doesn't have units over here to uh, defend himself with. Yes, 
Yes, I, I kind of refuse to flame. I don't like to flame. I don't think. Okay, that's the GG. Right there. That's the GG so right there. May change throughout the ages. Whoa. Awesome performance coming up uh, over here from, um, from the hand of the Golden Age. I gotta say, they secured their first win against their opponents, against Ruftos de la Vega. And I gotta say, Ulas is probably gonna have a talk day. with them. The big brothers, the masters you of the game, will need to talk with their Padawans and uh, try to tell them exactly what went wrong and how they could have been better i'm pretty sure that discussion is going to happen we do need to see also jump into the post game chat over here and uh, talk a little bit with them uh, and to see exactly what happened i gotta say they will talk a lot in french this is the french community i know there are quite a few french viewers so i think uh, it is quite important uh, for them to actually hear a little bit about the post game chat um we're going to, need to see if we're going to have some questions on um um uh, on english in english and then of course we're gonna see how this goes uh, also it's uh, so flimmy actually uh, no offense in turn gg yeah gg gg indeed calling people right? it's not, uh, right? yes yes okay uh, okay give me a second over here yeah uh, trying to find the channel i need to find the channel Mais euh, au final, euh, l'Arsenal, c'est vous qui l'avez. Euh, ouais. C'est vous, vous aussi qui avez Rajendra, même si je trouve que c'est un peu moins impactant quand même. Enfin, Rajendra, Rajendra, euh, pas oui, vraiment Rajendra. Oui, le, le plus tard, plus tard, plus tard. Euh, le plus tard. En fait, là, le, fin, ça, le seul plan de jeu qui restait pour, euh, pour essayer de gagner, ça aurait été une diplôme, étant donné qu'on avait... On avait ouais. les 5 points du premier congrès. Ah, c'est pour ça qu'on a voulu tout donner pour tuer un joueur. Hein. <rire> pour faire ce qu'on savait qu'il passait la diplôme. Hein. Mais en vrai, en vrai la, mais, mais, moi je considère que la diplo en 4 contre 4 ne passe jamais. Mais euh, sauf si. Euh, ça dépend. Ça dépend le le chat de voter, de voter à chaque fois comme vous, alors que vous votez au pif. Il enfin, y avait une micro chance, donc on allait continuer à jouer si je survivais. Quoi. Mais, euh, mm. mais j'y croyais, enfin, croyais que sur un coup de chance. Quoi. Parce que la diplo, ça ne passe que sur de la chance. Ouais, Et moi euh... j'étais parti sur la meilleure diplo avec la perse. Hein. Ma body, euh, c'était le plus. Bon, du coup, bah, non, mais... Mais, euh, oui, après ça aurait été la course merveille quoi. Faut aussi considérer que euh, une diplo passe, faut considérer que la team en face sont des pitres. Voilà, je le dis. Hein. Mmh. L'époque ah, où ouais, ouais, une certaine euh, top euh, équipe euh, top FR euh, prenait des, une, diplo, euh, une diplo par semaine, euh, bon. <rire> ah. bon. Ça, bon. On tourne après une défaite, bon. <rire> surtout, surtout. Les, les, les victorieux, tu vois. Ça donne complètement des gens random. Ouais, des gens random, ils sont en finale. Ils sont en finale oui, de non, mais je veux dire des gens random dans le sens où ils <rire> ah, sont intervenus dans l'histoire, tu vois. Dans, dans, dans l'histoire, ils n'ont pas intervenu. Non, mais c'est. C'est pour déconner, ils le savent. Euh... Ouais, euh, du coup, euh, pour euh, demain, ce sera une plongée classique. Ok. Ok. On va se battre, c'est bon. J'en ai marre des bâtons. 21h, ça vous va euh... Ah, mais c'est. De toute façon, je peux pas avant. Au niveau des horaires. Ok. Vas-y, bisous. Si on pouvait avancer. Bisous, bisous. Euh. Maybe. Bisous, bisous. Some. Hello, Michael. Some for you, Michael. Sorry? Did you want to do a bit of English? Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, bonsoir. And thank you for having me. And uh, second, I would really want to know that that's the biggest question that we actually have about uh, Eleanor not entering the world a little bit faster. Was that the economic problem? Was that uh, the synchronization? Was that uh, something that uh, you weren't expecting, for example, from Persia to go in so fast? Vicario. Ah, Vicario might... Uh, yeah, yeah, we had a gold issue. Uh, okay. Yeah. Gold issue and uh, yeah, uh, the setup was not uh, that already. already me, fine. Me, he was not ready. Uh. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, we had no gold, so basically I didn't make the trade deals. And mm -hmm. uh, so, also, uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting Omega to up this fast, even though he said he was gonna do it. So I didn't do that much. Mm -hmm. trade deals. And we had no gold, so basically, I couldn't upgrade anything. I mean, 
even when I upgraded, I just upgraded like six like, caravels and that was it. I couldn't do more. So, yeah, I couldn't go come faster. I was too fast on boat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, I gotta say, the economy of Spain over there helped them a lot. That, that economy yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, the, the speed continent was, uh, was great uh, on the on person for an external trader. Uh, I By was a way, bit surprised uh, you didn't remap this. I was expecting you to remap when uh, Rome, well, I guess you didn't know about Persia and uh, England at the, at the time you wanted to get the remap. Uh, we, I mean, we guessed we, it. We, we knew we knew I was going to be uh, at least one v one naval and most likely two v one. Yeah. But uh, it was not really a two v one because uh, England could uh, could, be help could me. come, but not that fast. And uh, my uh, we we had the two with the naval trade, but. Uh, we might have uh, underestimate uh, their uh, their setup compared to our. Yeah, uh, Dido going twelve cities though. I didn't like that so much production. It just you went a little bit too far into Spain's reach, I think. Yes, but uh, why not to play the game? <laughs> yeah. If I don't yeah. drop the city, he will, and uh, then it might be too affront. Yeah, yeah, true. But uh, whatever, we will take our revenge uh, tomorrow. Yes. And Ulas will have a talk with you. Ulas <laughs> what? Ulas will have a talk with you. What did you do, man? Uh, I mean, it's fine. Uh, we are going to step in for the second game. We are yeah. going to uh, irrel ourselves on a big classical Pangea. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, you already decided the, the maps. I yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow okay. it's a classic approach. Will you uh, cast uh, again? Yes, sir. Yes. My pleasure. Okay, okay. So you know now that it's going to be Irel War. Okay. Irel War, let's go. <laughs> and, uh, I, I need to avenge myself there with a, with a fair. 1v1 or 2v1 on our side. I'm <laughs> fine too. Uh... 4v1. <laughs> yeah, ouais, Nous ouais. prend tous. <laughs> well, GG well played and see you tomorrow then. Bonne soirée. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. for the Sorry. Thank you so much bye for bye. having me. Bye bye. Yeah. So, and there we have it. We heard from uh, both uh, teams over here explaining us um, their side of the story. Over those, um, did uh, tell us uh, why he did that. There was no choice. He needed to go big. Uh, also, Lucario did explain to us that there was no goal to, for him to actually fill the fleet uh, at the same time as uh, Rome. Uh, there was uh, quite a significant goal difference income between the two teams, and it looks like it did uh, give um, Golden Age a significant advantage when it came to upgrading their boats. Um, we're going to need to see what's going to happen in the second game and um, I do want to thank everybody for uh, joining us and I do hope uh, you enjoyed the stream I hope also um, you didn't mind me actually taking care of the beast over here that is just sitting there oh my god it's still sitting there but I'm gonna need to take it take a shovel and take it out um, Thank you so much also if you're coming up from YouTube and seeing this as a premiere. I do hope uh, you're going to throw it a thumbs up and I do hope uh, you're also going to uh, join me on twitch.tv slash TV to see the um, action live. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all of the notifications and click the ding 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 so you can actually get uh, notified over there thank you so much for everything and i do hope um, uh, if you uh, we're gonna see each other in the next stream tomorrow it's gonna be a bit later on uh, seven uh, or 1900 gmt is gonna uh, be the start of the game and we're gonna see what will happen also in the upcoming games from the city we'll see in uh, sunday on sunday now uh, have a good evening everybody and see you next time if you want to take a look at my schedule it's up on twitch or it, or it is up on uh, discord as soon as i get the information and you can actually take a look at what games are upcoming have a good evening and have some fun with some civilization 6 gaming bye bye